Hello and welcome to the party dungeon. This is Dungeon Party. As always, I'm your DM Blake Peoples, and here is your cast. Skippo! You put that shit away right now. <laughs> no more Skippo, motherfucker. Um, we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons, not Skippo. Um, we we're gone for a few weeks. And that's my fault again. Um, apologize. We're back now. Tommy looks cool as shit right now, though, dude. Oh, geez. so it was worth it. Um, I'm, the, I'm the shrimp man. I'm the shrimp man. <laughs> You're the shrimp man. These are my these are my shrimp glasses. I'm the shrimp man. Okay. I'm the trash man. It's my you know character. What, I get if into he's... the ring and I throw trash. And then I start eating garbage. <laughs> I'm the shrimp man. I I was playing poker with these on. And every time I put them on, I was like, I'm the shrimp man. And then I won the hand. And then I took them off and then I lost the hand. So I argue with that logic. So you becoming the shrimp man is your new, I'm going to become elite. Yeah, exactly. This is, that... this is elite. This is me elite. This is what elite <laughs> me looks like. This is me elite. <laughs> if you were making an action figure for like Tommy and then like elite Tommy, this is what you would put the on. The shrimp man is elite Tommy. Yeah. Good. Do you want to, do you want to go to Bubba Gump with me, Tommy? Well, he took the glasses off, so now he doesn't. But... Why would I? Why would I eat my brethren like that? Oh, I understand. You're not like a shrimp making man. You are a man of. Sh a you're man you're of a man shrimp. of the shrimp. Oh. Man of the shrimp. Man of the shrimp. Sorry for insulting you. Well, hello. It's D and D. Um, I don't have any announcements. Does anybody else have any announcements to share? You're announcing that they would fine. Like to make? Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This is just <laughs> this is just a little, a little announcement. Um, there will be no new episodes of What's Chelsea Playing until May 12th. I mean, that's cue, cue the sax that's from um, Tears of the Kingdom uh, trailer. Okay, so you know. one more week of no What's Chelsea Playing and then the best What's Chelsea Playing ever. Where you'll see you me very sleep-deprived. <laughs> I feel like at least three, with... three, three to four people on this call are going to be very sleep deprived <laughs> that Sunday. The thing is, we have a wedding to go to May 12th. Skip it. I... Yeah, you got... Zelda's no, wait, more this, important. The Switch is a portable console. That's true. I'm... I've <laughs> thought about that. It, it's got a kickstand. I've it up thought on the table. about that. While they're no. giving their vows, oh, yeah. you hear a faint. <laughs> 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 However, I will say my Joy-Cons are doing the thing where they don't work anymore. They yeah, finally Michael. pooped. Michael, I'm going to come out there and take that, that from you. <laughs> I can't uh. actually do that. <laughs> Michael, I'm going to punish you. Don't do it! Here he comes. <laughs> oh. Whoa! What if we all one by one? That would like, be correct. Like, like, oh, show up in <laughs> fucking wild. For I some of us, it might just five. take a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, would, he would be fifteen twenty. I'd be an hour minute. if I zoomed. And Tommy would be like <laughs> two. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I'm sad to get no. What's Chelsea playing? But I am okay. looking forward to the return of what's Chelsea playing. Are there any other cherished bits? I know there yes, are. Yes, yes, there are. And this week we have the best one of them all. Inst we are going to read something, but it's going to be very short. Hold on. Wait, you're right here. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I can go somewhere else. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Michael, Michael leaves and shows up on my camera. Now. Yeah, I was going to say, what if I just sprint? <laughs> okay, so. Fuck. Oh, shit. I one second. You. Okay. You ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so this this week, today, in fact, outside of my like in the in the lobby was a fucking sword. What? There the was a sword in my lobby. No way, there was a sword. There was sword a sword in, your in my lobby. lobby, and it says this. I don't. It's. It, I think it's in Whoa. Spanish. Whoa! Yeah. Show me the show me the hilt. Um. Can you put in the middle there? Ooh. Is it broken or is it supposed to be a one? Yeah, there's this. Hilt? It has this piece too. Is it I like? Can... Is it metal or is it plastic? Yeah, it's fully it's metal. It's metal. It's very. Can someone tell me why when I look up sword on the emoji finder that a key comes up? Kingdom Hearts. Good. Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Isn't this insane? 
That's fucking Why? wild. You just have a sword now. Like Yeah. And there was also a like 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 a full electric guitar, like a fully functional non-broken <laughs> electric sword guitar and an axe. Hey, what goes on in your lobby? <laughs> so, my neighbors are like they're like um resellers so they like go to estate sales and buy dead people shit and then sell it at like premiums yeah yeah my buddy over there had a whale tusk or sorry not a whale tusk, a whale rib a whale rib that he's walked around with and then the other one had all of the lights from the brooklyn bridge like when they replaced them like he got all the old ones all of that's a lot yeah <laughs> and then yeah maybe not all of them maybe like a lot of them though but yeah i have a sword now and it says that's a nice it, little so. cut and thrust sword. You know, Tommy, you have my sword. And my axe. That rocks, dude. Right? And it's, it's, like, it's like, you could like do some real fucking, this is like not short, right? <laughs> I don't know how no. to express to you how big this is. There no, we can, we can see like, it. Yeah, no, that's a, yeah. that's a cool little, yeah. That's All right, we rocks, played Indy. I just wanted to show you that I have a sword now, so. Now and not only does lobby. Everett have a sword, Tommy also now has a sword. They knew. They knew. They knew. All right. Well, <clears throat> I think without further ado, why don't we go ahead and hop into Dungeons and Dragons for the day? I didn't write a recap because we're in the middle of combat. Um, but you're in your. The, our students are in their practical. They're doing the practical, um, and it's going really well for them. Um, the uh, only real question marks are there are two invisible people on the other team right now um mave is down cynthia has gone down once karak is surrounded by tether and uh and Sheko. um but dagar and runia are nowhere to be seen they are invisible dagar has been invisible since the get-go and runia just turned invisible recently um but i think you know without further ado why don't we just whip, go on over to here and i gotta turn this music up because i've been listening to the vods and you can't hear fucking shit in terms of music and i don't know why that is um all right i think we're just gonna hop right back into combat unless anybody has anything they need to do first i mean i already peed all right then we're gonna hop back into combat there we go all right we start at the top of round four we start with tether's turn Okay, you know how I said all I gotta do is hit, 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 hit? Yes. I actually not, no. Okay. Because I, I I have one temporary hit point left, so I'm just gonna um, wild shape again. <laughs> You're gonna re-up your temp hits, hit points. I like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna, that's my action. Skip bow? Uh, that's skip bow. Okay. All right, sure. Um... And then, I mean, like, I don't really need to heal anyone, I don't think. Unless I do, and I'm forgetting. Is anyone hurt that I that I would see, a.k.a. Chelsea? No. You're the okay, only so... one in the group who has taken damage, I think. Not real damage. No. Um... Uh, Tommy, try a different browser. And so that, yeah, that's Tether's turn. And, oh fuck! That's that's one thing I forgot. I forgot um, to pull up my scorpion scouts. One second. Right, because the scorpion does go directly after you. Yeah. Yeah. This is gonna. I, I'm predicting the future. Oracle of Delphi over here. I think three hits. Are go I'm just. I'm just feeling three misses. Like this AC is high. Hers is. And you know, we. I just want us to celebrate my scorpion anyway you know he's trying his best i gotta make a token for your scorpion now that you're bringing out scorpions a lot so we got a first with a six that's a miss we're doing our pincer attacks first okay as always 19 misses yeah yeah, yeah. um and then uh tail 11 misses all three yeah. blocked as cynthia in her big bulky armor and her large shield she manages to block each of them She's you know she's a very good defensive anyway. fighter, but um, the password is either your name or your character's name, Tommy. It's character's name, I'm pretty sure. Probably shouldn't say that on stream. They don't know the address. 
Oh, fair enough. <laughs> um. Okay. Anything else from you there? No, that's that that's your is turn. everything from me. Thank okay. You very much. Karak is gonna go. <sighs> yeah, he's just gonna keep attacking Tether. I think. Okay. So he's gonna make his attacks with his sword. That is a 14 to hit. No. And a 24 to hit. Yes. Okay. 17 points of damage as he hits into you one time. That was a big hit. Yeah, he 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 is he is the the big hit boy. <laughs> no, that's what she said to him after oh. he hit her. He's he's in a bit of a, a rage right now, so he's not actually responding to you. Septon, you are up. Runia has disappeared. Maeve is down. Cynthia is fighting a scorpion. <laughs> okay, um... I want to be clear. The... Hmm. I don't want to accidentally kill Maeve. She, is be she has been stabilized already. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I'm just afraid if I catch her in an AoE, I'm gonna fucking kill her. She's been stabilized. If you hit her, you might throw her into death saves, but she won't kill her. I'm gonna... Septon's gonna remember that this is just a training and fucking... Do take it, it. it. Take it easy here. <laughs> Why it. can I not... Oh, can Crush I not stand here? Ground. No, well, it might not. It might not like you standing there, but I'll put you yeah, there. The game doesn't like me standing Maybe. there, and then I'm gonna move another 10 feet to the... Can you move me another 10 feet? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Uh... Game didn't like that. <laughs> um, I'm going to take two whip attacks against Cynthia. Okay. And it's just high AC, but I don't want to thunder wave and almost kill me. That's probably for the best, yeah. Um, let's see. Will it actually let me make my attack like normal? No, it won't. Okay. It's really is, uh, Foundry really is like 50-50 on like some days I click my attack and it just goes, right. and other times it just doesn't work. That um, movie with Anna Kendrick? Wait, sorry. Uh, Michael, can you make a concent concentration check for me, actually? Because you oh, did yeah, take yeah. some damage there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to put a marker on you so we know that you're concentrating, because uh, I always Thank forget. You. Oh, there's the attack button. All right. Oh, I almost rolled uh, advantage with the d12. That would have been fun. The 22 hit? 22 does Cynthia? hit. Yeah. All right. I'm going to roll damage. She takes 11 damage. Okay, she is not dead, but she's not of, looking good. Of which, oh, I can't backwards engineer what is Doesn't matter slashing right and what now. is. Doesn't matter for her. Wait. Oh, yeah, that is that is the damage. All right, I will take another attack on her. 27 to hit. That'll hit. Damn, okay. Roll damage. Only seven. Okay, she's still up, but she's looking rough. I got a 10. Okay, so you save. You're good. Um, and do I see anyone? No. No, there's no one around me. Um, Una, are you inspired? Do you need to be able to see Una to inspire her? I don't. I think it's here. here. She can absolutely hear you. Um. Uh. Da, 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 da. Actually, I want to. I'm gonna double check the ruling on that real quick. Or the wording on that. Sorry mm -hmm. for inspiration. Uh, use bonus action. Choose one creature other than yourself within sixty feet who, uh, sixty feet of you who can hear you. Yep, yeah, okay. she can and she is. All right, Una, wherever What's you that? are, let's finish I mean, this off. I'm, I'm quiet. Seven just shouting that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't respond. <laughs> don't respond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cynthia is going to second wind. What's your inspiration die now? She already D6. second winded last time. Did she? Uh, D8. She, yeah. she got healed by Maeve. Uh, let me check. And then she second winded. Oh, okay. Then she won't second wind. Are you sure? I don't have that I'm marked positive. off. I'm Okay. It is a D8. I believe yeah. you. I just don't have that marked off on her sheet. So I, I, I will feel really bad if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's going to matter either way, frankly. So, okay. um, she is going to, uh, she's going to hunker down and take the dodge action. <clears throat> she doesn't really have any other options right now. Everett, you are up. Huh? <laughs> Just a reminder, this is in the brain thing. 
Just a reminder that there's two of them that are invisible right now. I know that, you know, one of them's a big problem, but just just letting you know that I'm here by myself. Um, and then I'm going to use my action. Is it my action? As an action, 30 feet in any direction. I'm going to move my eye. I'm going to say that Sheko and those pals uh, are, are taking care of business. I'm going to move my eye. Hold on. Gonna go. Uh, uh, oh, I cannot see close enough. Hold on. Thirty feet. Thirty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. Thirty feet. I'm gonna move my eye over my trap. Okay, I'll put it there. Great, thank you. And then I guess I don't have another actions, but I would like to just look and see if make a perception check. Are there any doors moving? Make a perception check. Great. Oh man, I'm gonna perceive so hard. Here we go. Oh, Two. Even. Two. Okay. No moving doors. You don't see anything. Okay. Great. All right. That's my turn. Septon, go ahead and make an acrobatics or athletics check at disadvantage for me. Oh boy. Um. That's gonna be. Oh wait. Actually, which one of those is better? Where is? So, okay. You said it disadvantage? Disadvantage. Uh, oh, they're the same for me. Let's do athletics. That's more Septon's style. Disadvantage. 15. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, as Renia comes up behind you and tries to grapple you, and you're surprised for a moment, but you manage to uh, pull out of the grapple. She's just now standing there. Um, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right. Cool, that's her turn. I found, I found one. She's right next to Septon. She tried to get him. All right. And that's the... So the, the the eye is, like, above. The eye is invisible. You don't know where... You don't but see. that's also... Is that also one of the t t Tether's traps? Yes. Not and what my is, trap. Everett's traps. Everett's traps. Yeah. Everett's traps. Everett, what do those traps do? They're snares. Uh, they're snares. They're very simple. But they basically, they turn them upside down and make them so they can't move. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Everett. This door opens. Uh, which door? Can you click again, please? This door. That door opens. Fuck! Um, and you feel a presence move in, and a voice yell, Karak, now! Um, as Dagar appears in front of you, and is actually going to take a strike at you. Uh, I can't see myself right now. Hold on. Yeah, click on yourself down at the bottom there, I think. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Sorry. I'm looking. There I am. Great. Uh, yes, strike away. All right, he's going to strike at you with his very fancy sword. He has a very fancy short sword and a very fancy dagger, and he's going to strike you with his fancy short sword. 21 to hit. Will definitely hit me. Okay, you are going to take... Six points of piercing damage. Hey, man! And then uh, he'll stab you with his dagger, too. Or, no, he can't stab you with his dagger. All right, that is the end of his turn, but he has yelled out Karak now, and you see, Tether, you see his Karak's head tilts upwards. All right, Una, you are up. Um, I'm going to peek back over... The hold on. I'm peeking back over the ledge. Okay. But I'm ah. There you go. Now you can see. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so I'm on the edge yep. and I'm just gonna rain daggers on Cynthia. Alright, you have disadvantage on these strikes. Because she took Why? the she took the dodge action. I see. So she's hunkering down behind her shield right yep. now. Yep. Got a little inspiration if you need it. Yep. Um does a fourteen hit? Does not. Inspiration. Does a 22 hit? Yes. Thanks, Septon. No problem. Okie dokie. You do have sneak attack. Bitch, fuck, yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I will write how many sneak attack <laughs> die I have. And it will be at the top of my monitor. 
Doot, 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 doot. Fantastic. Mm. We seventeen twenty plus twenty five psychic damage. She's unconscious. Please. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, she holds her shield up, but you see uh, you see like a bit of her armor exposed beneath the shield, and you just boom, aim it under and boom, hits into her, and she collapses onto the ground. Yes, I do. Um, if I were, mm, if you, I were still on the edge, you can also see Rania. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. Um, kind of bonus action, yeah. Let me, yeah. Can I? Is that like corner of the building obscuring me? You can like, move I have to over move? to it if you want. Okay. Yeah. I'll yeah. put you there for now, but. Yep. I'll just give a go. Hi, runes. That's not your name at all, <laughs> but 18 to hit. Hits, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I like winning. Uh, eight points of psychic damage. All right, eight points of psychic damage. Nice. The okay. invisible guy's in here and he's stabbing me. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right. And he just yelled for Karak. Shundi, you're up. Uh, Sheko is gonna attack Karak. Okay. Nice. Well, that's a nat one. All right, he tries to attack uh, Karak, but I think Karak is going to sort of grab the sword out of his hand and just, like, pull it. And just, like, ooze, it, like, oozes out. His hand, like, sort of explodes outwards. It'll reform back into his hand, but he's not going to get another attack this turn. Uh, okay. In that case, I'm going to use half my movement to swap places, and I'm going to attack Karak. All right, Much better. Uh, 24. 24 hits. Okay. God. Uh, six piercing damage. All right. He's going to take half of that. Okay. Anything else? Are you good? I, mean, I am good. Okay. Tether, you are up. Can Karak make a constitution saving throw? He can. That is... 14. Fails. He's blind. He's blind? Blindness and deafness. Okay, blindness and deafness. He is blind. Cool. And... And then... Oh, wait. Scorpion... Is gonna move to help Septon. Scorpion can't fit through the gap. Oh, then Scorpion is gonna move to Kark. All right, Scorpion can get about there. Yeah. Okay. Scorpion has advantage on these attacks because Kark is blind. Oh, cool. First attack is an um, 19. 19 hits. Okay, it's since it's the claw attack, he's grappled. Okay. And oh, I, I haven't had the damage up because I haven't been hitting. Um. Okay. Uh, and that is gonna be five damage. Okay. I'm gonna have that. Second claw attack. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Yep. Okay, and that's gonna be four damage. All right. And okay, and then tail is an eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Okay, that's a D ten. Another four damage, but also, can he make a Constitution saving throw? 23. 23? Okay, he's going to take half the damage. 
Uh, it's, this is poison damage, so you need to know that. 4d10. So he's going to take a quarter of this. 29 is the full. What's... It's that's poison? poison? He takes yeah. none. Cool. All right, anything else? No, that's my turn. He is grappled in uh, the the claw. He's grappled or restrained. Uh, let me double check. Grapple. Okay, cool. He is grappled in the claw. Um, he is blind. <laughs> um, um, and he is surrounded. But he and can he make a Constitution saving throw? That is, it's like well over 20. Yeah, then, okay, cool. cool. Keep going. Right, spores, I assume? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he is going to take his hand that isn't holding the uh, the greatsword. He's going to pull it out of the manacle that it's always in. And you see his form, sort like his whole body sort of flickers as he does so. And he holds up his, his clawed free hand and snaps his fingers. And as he does so, he disappears and is replaced by one Dagar Blythe. And Everett, you see as Karak appears in front of you. Um, Dagar is not Everett. grappled, but he is surrounded. And he goes, Karak, that was, wasn't was a good time, Karak! Uh, as he's now just surrounded entirely. Um... That is Karak's action, though. So he is here. He has appeared before you. He is blind. Um, but he's here. And he's angry. <laughs> that is his turn. Septon, you are up. All right. As a bonus action, I use Fae Step or whatever the hell it's called. to Whatever the hell it's called. To just leave Runia, because whatever. Um, <laughs> fire, fire shoots out around me. <laughs> But it doesn't do anything. Doesn't work. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Uh, real quick, did actually before I do this, before I do this, did um, did Everett relay to all of us that he's in danger? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. Okay. Then I will walk ten feet over here. Fifteen feet. Why not? So I can see Karak. Um. And then I want Karak to make a wisdom saving throw. All right, he will make a wisdom saving throw. Pretty good, actually. Um, uh, 18. Damn. Yeah, that is a success. So he, yeah, he's fine. What were you casting? Polymorph. <laughs> good. Turn that bitch into a chicken. <laughs> A blind uh, all right. Chicken. Anything else yeah, from I'm... you? Does he get to make? Uh, say, so, well, sorry, Michael. For blindness, death, does, should he have been? Should he have made a save at the end of his turn? Oh, that's a great question, Blake. Um, My I'm gut so says yes, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm so sorry I didn't. Um, uh... How fucking dare you, dude? <laughs> uh, yeah, con at the end of turn. Cool. That's uh, an eighteen. Cool. He's good. Okay, he's no longer blind. Great. Yeah. Cool. Anything else from you, Septon? Nope. Cool. Action bonus action movement. Everett, you are up. Uh, Everett's going to grab the thing, say, smell you later, <laughs> and cast Dimension Door. Um, All and, right. And he, he would like to go 80 feet. Before you can. Mage. Karak uses his Mage Slayer reaction to slash you. Okay. You rolled pretty bad though. 14 to hit. But you're a wizard, so that might be okay. Uh hold on, did I Yes, I did cast Mage Armor before. Yeah, so yes, I'm fine. 15. Alright. You he misses as he swings towards you with his Mage Slayer reaction. You can go ahead and move yourself where you want to be. And I assume you you've got the thing with you. Yes, I grab it. And I get the hell out of dodge. Um, so, hold on, I'm gonna go... I gotta go through some bullshit here. Okay, hold on. Just, through like, door. mark where you want to be, and I can... Oh, great. There. I would like to go, uh, here. Yep. And I would like the token to come with me. Oh, it'll come. 
Great. Oh no. I like that it has to like go slowly. No. Um, okay. Um, great. And then I have movement, right? Yeah, that was your action, right? Uh, yeah, that was my action. So, um, I'm going to thank the magical, whatever they are, and uh, and then go. Um, you notice none of the doors in this area have been opened. They're both closed. Good, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, under cover of whatever. I'm there gonna are, run. I mean, there are windows, but the two There's doors. There's windows. Uh, most... Do I see anybody out the windows from my per current vantage point? Nothing that you can see. I mean, anything you would be able to see, you'd see, but. So, no. Great. Um, I'm going to take the thing, and I'm going to put it underneath the green bed. Okay, you smuggle it under the green bed. Sure. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to say, green, it's under the green bed. It's under the green bed. <laughs> and then I'm going to, uh, under my breath, over. Uh, Wait, Tommy, could, um, can we um, uh, have a two is, is getting the head messages? Everybody but you. Everybody but okay, you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good. Under the green bed in the under the green bed in the south room. Green bed in the south room. Um, cool. And then I'm going to. I'm gonna. Is there a door behind? There's there's two doors to it. Here, there's this door. Yep. And then there's this door. Great. No, no, I'm gonna go this oh, door sorry. and this door. They're, you, they're slightly thicker. Oh great! I'm gonna go out there's the no back door then. That's this one here. Yep. Yep. You totally and, can. Cool. Um. And I'm gonna open the door. And then I'm going to go uh, this way. I think I have probably this much sure. movement yeah, left. We'll say you got about cool. that much movement left. Cool. And cool. that is where I will remain for the rest of the turn. Thank you. All right, Rania begins to juggle and she takes a step forward. Uh, could you tell me what happens if somebody steps in your snare, Tommy? Absolutely. Thank God. I love when a snare actually gets snared. Um, Dagar oh. narrowly avoided your other one because he pathed down and around. Uh, okay, so snare. Here we go. This trap is nearly invisible. A trap triggers when a small, medium, or large creature. A creature must succeed on a deck save throw. So go ahead and give that a shot. Okay. Natural 20! Hey! Oh, she... Nothing happens, I don't think. Alternately, the creature is someone else. Yeah, restrained creature... Yeah, she's not restrained. I, the trap goes... I guess, does she, would she even know that it I was think, there? I mean, Hold the on. trap definitely triggers, yeah. Deck save means she's dodging, getting caught in it, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. so she she, she jumps out of the way, um, is sweating. Una, she's, like, crying. <laughs> like, this is a bad experience for her. <laughs> she's just like, my friends are dead. Um, and runs through the thing, and then she... Wait, does she say my friends are no, dead? No, but that's, like, it's all, her whole uh. face. She's just, she looks back, and her friends are unconscious, and she's, like, getting trapped, just juggling knives and crying. Um, and she runs for it, and she is going to... Do her best to throw some knives at Septon. Um, Bring it. Yeah, she's not been so successful at this so far. Okay, that's a seven. Hey, this might hit. 24, 24. Yeah, uh, yeah that'll hit. Nice, good job, Runia. Um, Five points of piercing damage. That's the first damage I've taken. It's the first <laughs> damage <laughs> she's dealt. In her head, she just hears, nice. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, <laughs> 19 to hit on the second, uh, the third attack. Does that hit you, Septon? 19. Oh, third attack, yeah. 19. She gets 19 three when she's struggling. Yeah. I, I zoned out, I thought you had two. No worries. Um, yeah, she gets three attacks every turn, and this is the first one she's hit. <laughs> is, this um, the, is this a homebrew? Yeah. Is this the juggler we talked about in, like, sophomore year? It is that, yes. What? Um, six points of piercing damage. All right. She doesn't do a lot of damage. No, she attacks a lot, though. Um, all right. That is the end of her turn. Dagar is here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. No. No, no, thank you. Um, and he <laughs> is going to... He could do that. Um... Yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to cast Misty Step. 
as a bonus action and appear over here and then use his action to jump through the window okay he smashes through the window and he finds himself inside this house um and he goes and hides next to this cool statue all right una you're up can can i tell that did I see him go through the window? Yeah, well, okay. you heard the window smash. At least smash. felt, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, uh, how much uh, distance is it for me to pop down? Um, Depends on how carefully you're trying to do it. Oh, five fair. Five feet if you're jumping, Um, but 20 if you're not. Um, where was Runia? Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I gotta install like an altitude mod for this. That's all right. Or something. Um. Oh, hold on then. Oh, then I'm fine. I'm just gonna. I'm sorry, Nia. I just gotta take you out. <laughs> <laughs> um. How about a twenty-four? Hits. Great. This is regular. She knows where I am. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is so, a sneak attack. Yeah. Who? Hey 11 points of psychic damage. Ouch, she's not feeling great. <laughs> this poor girl! <laughs> Again, um, how about 26 to hit? 26 will hit. Damn, what are these dice? Cool, okay, sorry. Uh, 7 points of psychic damage. Alright, she's still standing. Yep. Put you back in um, here. Yeah. Corner. Unless you're trying to move. Uh. I oh I didn't use my movement, so I will start coming down. You can with 20 feet of your movement, you can safely get to yeah. the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't get out of here. There. You <laughs> there. <laughs> and then okay, so. <laughs> Beep. Oh, I'm in measure mode. Beep, beep, beep. Nice. And one more, because I had five left. Nice. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going <laughs> to... I almost said I'm going to text oh! the group. I got rid of you somehow. Um, One sec, I'll put you back on the... Luna is dead. <laughs> Luna, <laughs> Luna runs oh, and no! disappears into the ether. Right, there you go. I leveled up. <laughs> there you go. You're good. Beam um, me up, Scotty. What was your... Um, I almost said I'm gonna text the group, but I mean to say, um, my initiative was like eight. Yeah, I'm gonna have to um, roll it, then I'm gonna have to change it. Yeah. Um, Messaging the group, I'm just gonna let those people know that I'm headed to help Everett, but I'm also trying to take care of Runia for now. Cool. All right, Sean D, you're up. You okay. Might be yeah, I, I wasn't muted. My mic just didn't pick me up for some reason. <laughs> cool. Uh, we love that. I guess I... Oh, fuck. We got dogehype.com in the fucking chat. Oh, fuck. Hell Sorry, yeah, I don't have dude. chat open. I, I, don't, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ban him. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I have a question for Tommy. Sure. Uh, do your snares affect us if we step on them? Uh, I think so. Let me let me confirm real quick. Snare. Uh, the trap is nearly invisible, requiring successful intelligence check. Uh, trap triggers small or medium or large. Yeah, it does not to say friend or foe. Well, this However, one, I this did... one is gone. The one next to the door. Yeah, and I did oh, tell okay. you. Cool. I did tell you where they were, so you should know. Sorry, let me just erase yeah. that. that one, if that, that one's one gone, gone, then yeah. then uh, no 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 problem. I'm going to. Swap. Wait. Let me actually measure to see if that, if I'm wasting movement by swapping. Um. No. no. Okay. I'm gonna use half my movement to swap with uh, Sheko. All right. Um. And then I am going to head. I think that was okay. Sorry, the 
the movement tracker is weird because of the swap. swap. Places, yeah. yeah. So that was it's rounded down would be half if I have thirty five movement. Yeah, yeah, D and D rounds okay. down. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen left. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll head to the door. I'm just gonna start pursuing uh, Dig Archer to the other house. Cool. You could use your action to dash if you wanted. I could. You're right. <laughs> um. They're both down, so that's fine. Is this the window he went through, or is it the other one? He went through this window. That one's still intact. Okay. That was what thirty movement, so I have five more. It would just be five to bust through the window. Yeah. Okay, I'm busting through. <laughs> He goes, hello. <laughs> he's got short sword. He's got short sword one hand, uh, dagger in the other hand. His back is to this statue that he hasn't seen move before, but you have. Um... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I forgot about the statue. Uh, okay, and Shaco's gonna disappear because I'm out of range. Cool. All right, that'll take us to round six. Tether, you are up. Um, I go first, but I just want to know, um, how tall are the buildings? 20, 20 feet. Could my large scorpion climb on top? You'd have to make an athletics check. Athletics check? Um, okay. Plus two. What if he was very careful? <laughs> he would have to make an athletics check. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's just for later. And oh, actually, I'm kind of trapped. Oh, wait, I already smashed through this. That window. window's smashed. Yeah, you can just walk through that at this point. Okay. Um. Um, and then I'll dash. I guess. Yeah. Sure. Hi. <laughs> okay. Can we all do some prayers in the chat for a BFF Scorp? Some what in the chat? Some prayers in the chat. I thought you said purrs in the chat. I'm like, Michael, this is not that kind of stream, dude. <laughs> I think you'll find it regularly is. Yeah, right. Uh, well, actually, wait, before I, uh, I mean, never mind. I already rolled. I had the thought as I was clicking the button. But I actually think I might be wrong anyway. Like, I've seen this area, mm -hmm. like, like all, all this whole area. Like, is there would there would there have been a way? I'm not doing it anymore because I already decided. But um, to like have gone around and climb over like the little wall to get like. Into I mean, this yeah, area. The, the, it would be a tight squeeze through any of these corners. For yeah. Him. Like the, the 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 bottleneck here. No matter really which way you go, there's gonna be one. Yeah, I, the only way I could see it would be like a long detour all the way around to where you'd have to get climbed. over here. Yeah, that would take yeah. several turns. But well, he has forty movement. It would still take it's several dashed. turns. Yeah. <laughs> uh. What'd you roll though for your? Uh, I rolled a nine, so it's okay. Not so he does not. He does not manage yeah. to climb up. All right, uh, anything could... else? Oh, wait, he could see Dagar in the window, but he doesn't have the reach. Never he doesn't mind. have the reach, right? Yeah. Okay, um, Karak is going to go. Karak is going to run down at Septon and take two attacks. I fear. You probably should. You probably should. Um, what's your attack bonus? Oh, a million. Um, 19. Ah, that'll just hit. Uh, 17 points of slashing damage. <laughs> And um, a lot more than 19. <laughs> it's a oh, 29. Uh, oh, yeah, that'll hit. 20 points of slashing damage. 20 points. And then 17 off of that. Septon suddenly in a very bad way. It is Septon's turn. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Their big trick didn't work, so now he's just trying to take you out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should just, like... I'm not sure if I should just burn one more, or if I should try to... I should try to keep myself up. I'm going to cast... Uh, 
I'm gonna cast invis invisibility on myself. <laughs> you disappear. And I'd just give you. Uh, what's a cool thing? I need to put in custom tokens. I'm gonna put this on you. Why not? And then I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm not actually gonna. I would. You can't just disengage off of. He would. He would still get an attack. He would just be at disadvantage because you're invisible. Like, he would feel you leave so he could swing at you, but... Right. Hmm. Is that enough? That seems still risky. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna risk it, because I think if I stay in his range, he'll still just be able to fucking get me. Alright, that is a 15. That misses. Nice, he whoom, swings, but does not hit you. I'm out of there can't really bonus action anything at the moment because all my bonus actions involve sound. That's true. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm... Yep, that's my turn. Cool. Everett, you're up. And after you, your statue can go. Keep that in mind. Only if I can see him, right, and command him. Oh, you're right. Yep. Yeah, otherwise I would be giving him commands all the time. Um, so uh, I'm going to holler to the group just quickly over the over the phone. <laughs> hey, uh, don't the Una phone. <laughs> don't don't come towards where I am. Just just stay where you are. Uh, just saying. All right, and then I'm going to go uh, 30 feet. <laughs> oh, boy. Is there a door back here? Is this a door? That's a window. That's a window. Mm -hmm. That's a window. That's a door. If I come through here, will they think? That's a door. I'm going to quick just to take a peek over my eye. Oh, nobody even has line of sight on me. Great. No, no Great. Then I'm just going to run. I'm going to use my extra, my movement uh, to do another 10. And then I'll go another 20 in this direction. Cool. Great. Oh, I can see the statue, but I can't command him, can I? Without an action? I need an action. Dang. Look in, yeah, it'll be in your character sheet wh whether you need an action or not to do it. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, check check, check the feature. Um, I, I, I did put it on your sheet. Um, oh, you put, so you put, oh, I forgot that you have, you put your own, your own rules. Um, um, ancient Companion. It's friendly towards you and combat shares your initial count immediately. It can move and use its reaction on its own, but its only action it takes is the dodge action unless you take a bonus action on your turn to oh. command it. Bonus action. All right. <laughs> uh, and I'm you, going if to you stay. If you double click him, his stats will come up because. Uh, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm going to holler uh, and I'm going to say, grab him. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, see if we can. Grapple, uh, Dagar. All right, go ahead and roll an athletics check for, uh, for him. All right. Dagar will roll acrobatics. I'll give him disadvantage because, uh, he didn't know this statue moved. Um, athletics check, plus two. So, 14. He got a nine. So, uh, what was his name? Shit. I, I literally, I can't find my notes. So I'm. <laughs> I'll pull it up. Doomed, yeah, but yeah. Um, your statue friend who has been standing still this entire time. No, I opened the wrong one. Come on, there we go. Your statue friend, whose name is Remulus Argonetti. Yes, Master Argonetti. Um, Remulus, grab him! He goes, oh, yes, well, very well, and grabs, like, uh, under the arms, like full Nelson's uh, dagger. goes, what? what? Oh, come on! Uh, Tell him to say <laughs> uncle! Why? Cause he stabbed me. Why, Uncle? Though. Cause that means he's that means he's out. Oh, uh, young man, I would suggest you say Uncle. Not on your life, Stone Face. Um. <laughs> all right. Cool. Uh, that will make it Runia's turn. Runia says she's tether and probably yeah makes con save. Yeah. She's not as. Constitution savvy as, as Connie. Uh, yeah, she's not as Connie. That's a nine. Okay, 
so she's gonna. I have to relook it up every time it actually happens because yeah. it almost never happens. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Halo. Halo. She's gonna take nine points of necrotic damage. <laughs> that is enough. <laughs> As she turns to you and your spores just go into her face, she... <laughs> She's just gonna blow in her face. Yeah, blow, you blow in her face, she falls face down on the ground. Right. Um, okay. You blow her little kiss. Okay, that'll make it Dagar's turn. Dagar's in a bit of a rough spot, isn't he? Um, he's grappled, but he's not restrained. So he is going to swing his sword at Remulus, then. It's pretty good. Um, that is pretty good. That is 23 to hit Remulus. Does that hit him, Tommy? I think you might be muted. That will hit. Okay. That is going to be five points of piercing damage. And then he is going to yell bonus action, try to hit him with his dagger too. Uh, more than last time. One more than last time. So he is going to deal six points of piercing damage. Let me know if you're subtracting that HP there. Yeah, it looks like you are. I am, yeah. Cool. All right, um, but that doesn't take him down, so he is stuck. Una, you are up. <laughs> What's up, Septon? You don't see him. Oh, right. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I'm here. Wall of person Bonk. I ran into. <laughs> yeah, just like steel plate mail. You like honestly. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, I only need to scoot over here so I could see Kara. I feel like you, you come over here because you're looking at him and you feel something next to you and you, like, touch it and it's just, like, steel plate mail right next That's to plate. you. Does he say anything? Do you say anything to me? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Septim, Septim you, just saw, lost... you, you did see him turn invisible, though, so. Oh, then Sept never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Septim just lost 70% of his health yeah. in, like, six seconds. He's <laughs> silent. <laughs> She just pats and does a little nod, glares at Karak, and goes pew pew. Whoa, ah, twelve. Does not hit. Yeah, I figured not. Again, hey, twenty-five. Hits. a little baby dice though um nine points of psychic damage all right he does not have that cool okay anything else you um, good can i hide in the fountain you don't have a bonus action to do that anymore i don't think you're right you're right never mind i don't cool all right sean d <laughs> Uh, you, uh, he, Dagar's gotten out of the, the, the full Nelson, but Remulus is, like, holding onto his head, um, as he's trying to get away and, like, swinging swords backwards, so you don't have, like, advantage or anything, but he's there, and he's not moving. Well, you know, I would have liked to have given you a, a fair 1v1 duel, but these are where the cards lay, and I'm going to step forward and activate Ember. All right. And... Nat 20. Nice. <laughs> Roll it, man. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to remember, because I always forget, I have Piercer, so I get an extra dice. Nice. Almost max damage. Oh, plus a d6 of fire damage. What if you do... What if you kill him outright? I don't think I can do that much damage. I hope not. He's not very <laughs> high level. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feel really bad if this does do that, but uh, 22 piercing damage. Uncanny dodge. Um, he's gonna go ahead and uncanny dodge that. Okay. <laughs> is he still grappled? No. He is grappled. Yes. Can you uncanny dodge while grappled? Yeah. Okay. He's not restrained. It's it's uncanny. It's uncanny, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
He's not incapacitated. Okay. He can dodge. Um, Attack. Tag number two. <laughs> so yeah, you swing at him, but he, he sort of like uses the momentum. He like crosses his dagger and his sword over the arm and he sort of like pulls up. So you only slash across his legs instead of across his chest. I, I want to apologize for every bad thing I said the dice, about the dice Peeps gave me. That's another, another nat 20. 20? God. Oh my gosh. Hey, dude. <laughs> That was much worse damage. That's uh, 11 piercing damage. Okay, he's, he's and still up. And three uh, fire damage. Oh, and three fire damage. Okay. He is he's still up, but he's really not looking good. <laughs> All right. Anything else from you? Nope, that's it. All right, round seven. Tether, you are up. <laughs> I'll say, say uncle. <laughs> I don't have Tether's, one. <laughs> Tether's going to say, excuse me, walk over this girl. Oh, no. Stand here to make so Septon can have a little breather. Mm -hmm. She's gonna end concentration on her big scorpion. She's like, Goodbye. thank you so much. He turns back into a small scorpion. Yeah, and then she's going to cast Call Lightning. All right. Can he make, um, can... <laughs> yeah, that's Call Lightning. That's, that's her radius for Call Lightning. Jesus. As a uh, lightning uh, storm forms above uh, you guys right now. Is there any way I could move it slightly southeast? Like here? Yeah. Thank you. You Can should... You make a deck saving throw? Right here, there's a... That's how you control it. So you should be able to move that. Let me know. I know. If... I, I'm, I'm trying to, and it's uh, not... Okay, then just let me know. Yeah. Okay, he will make a deck save, yes. Six. Okay. He's taking 16 lightning damage. All right, as it shoots down from the sky. Right into him. He is, he's still looking pretty okay, to be fair. Yeah. All right, um, anything else? Nope. Cool, he is going to swing at you two whole okay. times. Oh, that'll probably hit Um, 20. No, no. 30. 30 to hit. Yeah. I think it I think that hit. Probably does. Yeah. Ah, uh, you rolled terrible damage. 13 damage. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw for me. 13 damage. 20. Okay, you're good. And his second attack is a 25 to hit. Yeah. 17 points of slashing damage. Go ahead and make another con save. Okay. 21. All right. You take the damage, but you do not lose your uh, your thing. Lightning. Um, that's so that all in all, that's 13, 17. Okay. You you. Oh, okay, can con save? Sure. A million. Um. <laughs> I don't think that's actually a 20, possible 23. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you, you know I gotta try. No, no, no. I feel you, man. I they, I respect it. Um, What happened on the battlefield while I was gone? Tether cast call lightning. Got <laughs> it. Okay. I'm finally out of 10 not points. Like, not like we're all ask. getting electrocuted No, right no. Now. That's just the okay. electric storm in the sky above you guys right now. Would you say conditions are stormy out today? No. It is a beautiful sunny okay. day. Okay. All right, Septon, you are up. All right. Uh, uh, can I still see Karak? If you can still see Karak, you can still see Karak. On the that map. deep, man. All right. I mean, uh, players don't obscure vision on the map. No, you can see around Tether. Karak's, okay. Karak's got a big fucking sword. <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. In that case, have him make... Uh, Let's call it a wisdom save for hold person. Two. 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 Paralyzed. All right. He is paralyzed. I guess I would break invisibility too. That does break invisibility, yes. Um, we'll use... I don't know, man. We'll use this for paralyzed, sure. 
Okay. And you want to remove the invisibility one from me. I will remove invisibility and I will put concentration. Um, and then <laughs> Septon, who's just appeared next to Una. Yeah. Um. Oh no, I had no idea where you went. I'm very sneaky like that. Do you think you can finish him off? And I will. I'll. That's you're inspired. Yeah. Inspired again. It's that easy. Our battle ban banter is so fucking cool. <laughs> you guys are like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you got it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this happened a lot. Septa and Una enter battle with the most nonchalant fucking. That is, that is your duo's sort of energy in <laughs> combat. Yeah. All right. Anything else from you? Mm, nope. That's okay. It. Everett, you are up. If he doesn't say uncle, then hit him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, that's your bonus action. That's my bonus action. And then for my action, I'm going to go one, uh, two, three, four, dodging my own <laughs> snare, <Yep>. five, <laughs> and six. So cool. Yeah. Um, it's hard to see with the lightning. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to think very, very hard about blasting but I'm not gonna blast because that would blast death. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be so good. Um. So anyway, I didn't start blasting. Nice. Uh, and instead of blasting, I'm going to. Everybody else is down, right? Not a ton. Just to be done. Just Dagger and Karak up. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And I kind of really don't need my eye anymore. So far as I can tell, but I probably shouldn't do what I want to do because that's illegal. Um, <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, and he's paralyzed. He is paralyzed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's not a ton here. I'm gonna take a flame him, which I think I can do. Hold on. Am I even even in range for that? What's the range? Uh, range on oh sacred flame sixty feet yeah, yeah good. I can do that well range. cool um, oh wait no I'm not gonna do that because that's wasting a hit because he'll he'll be able to get out of whole person at that point right you escape whole person if you take damage I think well he gets a save if he takes damage yeah not gonna chance that for one d eight I will let it go okay I'm gonna that's my turn oh but then it's does he say more than it's probably more than one d eight at this point. Oh, no, you know, whole person, he just gets to make a save at the end of each of his turns, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, I'm going to blast him. Great. Uh, Sacred Flame uh, is a cantrip, right? Uh, cantrip, dexterity like saving throw. So it's not 1d8, it is 2d8. 2d8. He fails. Roll 2d8. He He's fails. paralyzed. He can't, he can't succeed dex saves. Three, six, nine. Damn, she fine. All right, nine, nine points total. of damage. Um, Cool. And then, yeah, does he, does he say uncle? Karak? He can't say uncle, even if no. he wanted to. No, Dagar, Dagar. That's what. Uh, it is, uh, he, it's not his turn. He hasn't said uncle yet. Great. I, then I am, I have told him to prepare an action in which he will beat him up if he doesn't say uncle. All right. Uh, on da uh, Dagar's turn, he looks at you, Sean Dean. He says, is anyone else still up? As far as I know, Karak is still up, but uh, nobody else. He drops his he drops his weapons. You have to say uncle. Uh, uncle. Good job. <laughs> he says uncle. <laughs> so he doesn't get smacked. <laughs> he doesn't get smacked. <laughs> Alright, Una, you are up. Uh, just so you know, he is he is currently paralyzed, so all attacks have advantage on him, but attacks within made within from within five feet of him are auto crits if they hit. I know. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I was trying to sound cool, <laughs> and then I couldn't come. I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, I've had several mimosas today, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Plus the current beer that I'm having. It's not even a beer, it's a cider. Why am I lying? <laughs> Pretty little lies. <laughs> All right. Here, I'm gonna, here. No Una's, gonna be, Una's gonna be so cool. Yeah. Una's gonna slide under Tether's Hell leg. Hell yeah. Come right up to Kar <laughs> Kar Korok. 
Yeah. The joke happened so many times. It's Korok now. No. Karak? I. Karak. Kara. I. It sounds like carrot now in my head. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Your advantage. Come on. How about a twenty-five to hit? Hits. You have sneak attack and it crits. Alrighty, baby. Hey, uh, you can you Talk can drop. Yourselves you can also bit. you can also use you can... his inspiration for damage. If uh -huh. you use inspiration, you'll do two of them because you crit. Hold on. <laughs> Add some more dice. Yeah, <laughs> it's two d8s. Oh, Jesus, mm -hmm. and this is all psychic damage too. So he has no resistance. <laughs> I feel like Una's eyes just go black, and she stares at him into his soul. I oh, that, can you yeah. hear that? That's a lot of dice. <laughs> ASMR. That's not even all of them, baby. Mm, not the greatest roll, TBH. Um, alright. S12, S17, S19, S20, S22. More dice. <laughs> 24. That's 20. Hold on. I'm pulling out the calculator. <laughs> <laughs> That's 40 psychic damage. Is enough. As you slide yeah. under Tether's legs, your eyes, one turns black, one turns white, you slash up across him with your mind dagger, and he just, you see, you see his eyes go blank, basically, and his head just slumps down, but he's still held, just like, standing up, unconscious. And with that... No! We did it. No! <laughs> oh... That was Rocks amazing. Fall, everyone dies, dude. Uh, we're starting a Discord. new campaign. Get oh, I fucked, love my dude. backup character. Let's go. Apparently, uh, Discord has a built-in soundboard. It does. So I gotta disable that shit for these. Um, okay. With that, you uh, you hear a whistle blown, and you see your tactics professor. Um, sorry, one second. Let me pull everything up. Uh, you see your tactics professor uh, walk on up. Um, and she... She's smiling and she's clapping. Um, and she goes, All right, pretty impressive display. Uh, give me a minute while we get uh, your underclassman conscious again. Well, uh... You want, you want me to get him up real quick? Oh, would you mind? Yeah, no problem. I probably won't need this again today. Um, and Septon, <laughs> Septon will you never know what's mass going on healing Monday. word. Okay, yeah, you so gather them all, up. all of them within 60 feet who can hear me will gain. You can gather them up and heal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they all. Up, freshmen. They all. Yeah, they all come to hazing complete. Um, e G G L L. They only have two health. They're not great. No, they. I mean, even if they had full health, they still probably wouldn't be feeling good. Kark in particular is just. He looks pissed. He's sitting. Guess, on, he's sitting on the ground. Dagar's fun. He, he Dagar, <laughs> Dagar's kind of fine. Uh, Dagar walks out, um, sort of scratching the back of his neck. He helps Runia up and he asks if she's okay. Uh, but you do see Cynthia shoot him a fucking death glare. Um, when when conversations sort of happening about what went down here. Um at Dagar? Yeah, at Dagar. Ooh. Um Maeve Maeve looks like she's on the she's she's it's probably her first combat she's ever been a part of and she didn't have a good time. Um Runia's dry tears uh, her dry tears are being covered by wet tears at this point. Dagar's just sort of comforting her. Karak is sitting, he's got like his arm around his sword and he's sulking. Um Cynthia's taking out a notebook and she's writing stuff down. Um, after shooting a withering glance at uh, Dagar, she's she's like beginning to take notes and sort of looking at all of you and writing stuff down. Um, you guys did a really good job. Uh, it's not a Cynthia it's not responds. A... She says, "Well, you did a much better job, but I think that was to be expected." It's. I mean, it's not like a, a joke or an insult or anything. You guys really did great. I mean. Karak, you straight up almost knocked me over in what, like, a few seconds. Almost. 
And you guys did split up and find the objective, which was the thing we were trying to avoid. Dagar turns to Kark and he says, y you could have waited a minute, you know? Like, that was a bad situation to put me in. And Kark just doesn't respond to him. All right. <clears throat> um, and your your tax suppressor, Lucas, says, no, uh, Septon's not lying. That was an impressive show. I, 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 It was a good strategy. And maybe someday you'll have the skill to back up the strategy. I don't mean that as yeah. an insult, but that, you know, I think maybe you, you overestimated your ability to spread out against a greater foe so now i know but now i know where you're at now i know what we can work on when we get into tactics classes in the rest of the semester so good to be fair you all use tactics e uh, I, w I would say that we really didn't but it didn't really matter no, I, so. I, 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 the plan I, went off without a hitch i i dis i disagree <laughs> with that plan. uh feel, luca, feel like luca we turns adapted to you. well yeah. luca turns to you and says I don't know what your plan was originally, but that certainly was tactical, the way that you, you, I mean, you disappeared with the thing as soon as it got found. Yeah, I don't know how it. you were communicating with each other, but clearly there was communication going on. Um, so I think, I think your approach was plenty tactical as well. Maybe not as tactical as theirs, but you had superior power by a long shot, so you didn't have to be. Uh, but I also now have, I mean, I've heard stories about the stuff you've gotten up to, both from the faculty and just, you know, from what I've heard around town. But now I have a first-hand uh, experience with what you're all capable of, so I know where to go with you as well. But, um, as I said, does not count towards your grade, either of you. I think uh, either class, I think you did great. But, second years, I do owe you a meal now. So, uh, sometime this, at the end of the semester, we'll find a time. I'll take you out. Uh, full, full course Carthian meal in town. I know a good spot, so, uh. Is it, <laughs> is it the chicken leg? Is it the what? Is it the chicken? It's not the chicken <laughs> leg. <lounge. laughs> don't, don't you? <laughs> Bad. Bad. Put Bad. the fucking duck away. <laughs> oh, Tommy. It is not the chicken lounge. No. <laughs> is it that Chinese buffet? Amazing. I gotta figure out how to disable that for this. I don't know where this no, came from. Amazing. I don't have Nitro. I don't. It's so no, good, it's just a, it's a new feature. We when we play Valorant these days, <laughs> <laughs> he plays <laughs> Dame Dana, that one meme song, but it's the loudest thing you've ever. Yeah. Blows your eardrums out. So you 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 simply cannot hear the game or anybody else talking while it plays. Okay, enough of the fucking soundboard. <laughs> Enough of the soundboard. I'm about to. I'm about to start. I'm about to start reducing stats. No more no, soundboard. No. Well, I'll be quiet. <laughs> All right. Oh, but I love it so much. Oh, you motherfuckers. Okay. Um. She. Uh. She says I'm gonna get some of you to, to the infirmary because you could use it. Um. But the rest of you have a great rest of your day. I think. This is, uh, this is it for classes today. Uh, though I will say this is, I was told to inform you this is the, today's the deadline to pick your electives. So make sure to get that, that choice in. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing more to say, I guess. I'm looking forward to the, the rest of the week for, uh, training with y'all. That'll be good. Okay. You, and he, <laughs> she points over towards Runea and Maeve. You come with me. Um, and she sort of leads them away to the infirmary. Dagar is supporting Rhaenia. Uh, Cynthia comes up to you, uh, I think comes up to you, Septon, and offers her hand. You like, for a handshake? Yeah. Yeah, Septon, Septon goes in for it. No, her hand for marriage. Her hand for marriage, yeah. That's um, what happens when you beat her in a fight, apparently. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. That's, that's her honor-bound code. No. Um, yeah, she she says, it was a, a good fight. I wish I'd been around for more of it. Um, and I look forward to the next one. I mean, you got in front of your healer. <laughs> that's... Honestly, the best move sometimes. Right, didn't quite pan out, so I'm going to have to find some more strategies, but... Um... Hey, hopefully someday we wind up all fighting on the same side. I feel like we could learn just as much from that. I but... I think that would be... I hope that that happens. Um, 
I don't really know how the program works yet, but that would that would be fun. Right, well, I need to... Do you mind in the next few weeks if I sort of pick your or your, your companion's brains about what uh, went into this? Um, I, I try to learn from my defeats as much as I can. Something kind of laughs. Um, uh, you can. I'll say you're going to get pretty different answers from everyone. I, that, that's what I would expect, yes. You're going to get conflicting answers. Uh, oh, right. Well. Some of us are going to say it was because of the plan. Some of us were going to say it was because of something else. Uh, at least that's my guess. You know, I don't know. Maybe everybody will be on the same page. But, uh. Well, I, I imagine that my side of the conflict will have many conflicting reasons as to why that didn't work for us. So. I think the best thing you can learn is that plans are great, but you shouldn't expect your plan to work. Like, ever. Because every... She keeps eye contact to you and nods, uh, but you see her writing in her notebook, like quoting you in her notebook, like just looking at you, it's sort of off to the side. Oh, we got like, another hell yeah, dude. If I think of every combat I've ever been in with these guys, we like make a plan and by the end, that plan either like went off and we've just moved on or we didn't do the plan at all. <laughs> like... Right. Well, Una, Una kind of chuckles. <laughs> Tether walked like, away kind of overhearing it. Seemed like she was allowed to. Fair. You know that Elifa is looking for you because she's found some some solutions for your problem. Oh yeah, Una told me. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'd, maybe. Yeah. I mean, Septon's not having this conversation like in private. I assume everyone else can, is yeah. listening oh, in no, and yeah. might chime in. Uh, um, what, were, what were you saying, uh, Chelsea? You're saying something. Sorry. Um. Una's kind of like rubbing her head because I don't think she's ever inflicted that much damage before. <laughs> um, and she's gonna walk over to Karak. Um, and she's be still like, still sort of moping on the ground. Yeah. Be like, hey. No hard feelings. <laughs> yeah, that I didn't think that would work. Um, I, I'm just trying to let you know, I understand I'm hard on myself as well. Um, and I'm sorry about that last blow. I, I didn't think it would be that rough. Why are you apologizing for winning? I, I mean, sure, we, well, we, yeah, we won. I, I don't think I needed to, um... It, um, I, I just feel, I, 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 I don't know. Okay. Immediately retracts. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you okay? I'm not dead. I've, okay. That's I've, cool. I've like never felt my own abilities on me. I've heard hurts. they're unpleasant. It hurts my brain. I mean, it hurt my brain pretty bad. I've never... No one's ever stabbed my brain before. Well, not yeah. like like that. Yeah. My brain has physically been stabbed before, but that was a different sensation. Wow. Um, ju so just saying again, sorry. Uh, I, you, you really don't... I mean... No one's ever apologized to me for beating me in a fight before. I don't know if you have to do that. I think I have to. Then... I, j I just did, though. Okay. Um... I just hope you're all right. I feel like if it was a real fight, I'd be dead. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, considering. And I walk away. 
Yeah, it's hard. You, you, you can't tell if he's mad or if he just doesn't really know how to talk to people. Like, yeah. it, it, honest to God, could be either. That's um, fine. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, yeah, once you leave, he's probably going to he's gonna push himself up. Uh, he's not going to go back to the dorm, though. He is going to go over to Kerfley's shed and pull out a training dummy, unwrap his sword, and start swinging at it. Immediately go back to training. Cool. Um, Una, you have... You tentatively scheduled a meeting with the do that doctor in town yeah. for this afternoon. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Tether, you know oh, Elitha is looking for you, and everyone, you have to pick your... You have to finalize your electives today. So. Yeah, I'd, I'd go to Elitha. Cool. You're going to Elitha... Um, Una, you have some time until you have to make the meeting, yeah. so you can go rest up and everything. Like, everybody can take a short rest if you'd like. Um, nice. Oh, Septon was going to say to Cynthia before they go away. Mm -hmm. Um, by the way, if you guys want to, like, I don't know, like, train with us or, like, work with us sometime, I'd be fine with that. There's only, I, when I saw how you and Maeve were positioning, I was like, oh, that's how I hide behind Tether. A lot of the times, or Sean D, because I like can't you, take a hit like them. Well, I mean, you're you're wearing fairly heavy armor. That's because there's not a lot underneath it. Ah. But the point is, like, if if we want to like train with that stuff, sometime we can. I was thinking about maybe giving Maeve pointers on like staying out of the way and doing stuff from a distance. I know Everett fights that way too, generally. Right. I'm sure she could use them. I, I appreciate the offer, um, and I'm sure we will take you up on it at some point, but I do think we need to grow as a unit before we start training with others. No offense meant. I, 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 of course. I deeply appreciate the offer, but um, some of us aren't as good at working with each other as others, so... I think that's maybe something we need to to grow in first. Unless, unless you disagree, uh, you are more experienced no, 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 no. than I. Am. That is important, but we're not quite there either. Could have fooled me. Did anyone else hear that? I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what it was, but... All right. <laughs> Someone uh, was kind of shrug and be like, you'll get better. will never be perfect. Well, At that. hopefully some someday that would be nice, but to be perfect. We, we haven't gotten there. <laughs> no, no, but I, I imagine it's possible. I mean, there are, there are examples of perfection in this world to this day. I mean, the Silver Citadel for... For one, I, I I was told that you had met some of them. Uh, is that true? Like, remind me, weren't they like, or did we meet some of them and they were like griping with each other immediately? No, you met the leader <clears throat> of the Silver Citadel. No, who one was, of them. Yeah, he was arguing with the Emperor. Right, right, right. And then a dragon yeah. kind of called him up. <laughs> dragon kind of dunked on him real quick. <laughs> We've met them and her eyes like begin to shine a little bit She's we like, met one we met the leader what was uh, his you, name? you met Adoram, Ado Amros Cassell himself that's is that right Blake that's his, I mean that's oh. his name yeah 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 we met him it was brief but we met him Have you, did you by any chance shake shake his hand maybe so there's a possibility that I shook the hand that shook the leader of the Silver Citadel's hand yeah, yeah, there is. Right. Um, well, uh... You know, I'm is... gonna be honest, of of all the stuff we did, like, that month, meeting him was not the coolest. W what could possibly co be cooler than meeting the saviors of the world? Except, except it's gonna get, like, get started, like, walking back towards the house, and like, we rode a dragon! You... Uh... <laughs> like... A little bit of a shutdown, I think. She doesn't follow for a minute as you walk. I love off. how we all use the dragon flex. Sorry, we wrote we rode um 
the story Sam Samaranth. 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 The story. Ah. Buddy of ours. Maybe you'll meet him. Uh. Huh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> she, she. I think she sort of just like lost a little bit dazed. She. She looks down to her notebook. Isn't really writing anything, but sort of wanders shakily out of the. Uh, the arena. Cool. All right. Tether, you were looking for Elfa? Yeah. Cool. She's not too far away, actually. She um, she didn't watch, but you, she is set up semi-nearby. Actually, like, kind of next to the lake, she set up a bit of a workstation for the day where she's taking some notes on stuff, looking out over the lake, enjoying the sunshine. Um, she She's not looking at you, but you can approach her. She's a little absorbed in her work. She'll just, like, unannounced, just sit down across. Oh! Oh, Tether! Tether! I've been meaning to get a hold of you. How did the practical go? Oh, we won. I... I... I'm not surprised. <laughs> right. Well, um, we were working at the end of last term on changing your situation. Um, and I have made a few breakthroughs. Um, some of which I'm excited to share with you, some of which I'm not very excited to share with you, but I know that somewhere along the way, trust was broken between us. And instead of keeping the dangerous and ill-advised options from you, I, I will give them to you. I just have to caution you against pursuing them. I don't think it would be in your best interest. But I want to build that trust, so I want to be completely honest with you about what I've found. Okay. Right. Um, I will start with the first two. Um, I mean, that being said, all of these are very difficult and dangerous and some would call foolhardy, but the first two I, I'd be more comfortable with you pursuing than the second two. Um, so, the first is um, maybe the safest. Uh, it is the the monks of Viris on the mountain of Ben Verid, um, down in Cruth. Um, it is probably the most potent location of, of divine magic on the material plane, despite being situated in the Dressy Highlands, a region almost entirely bereft of magic. Um, like, during the winter, magic cannot be cast in the Dressy Highlands, but on the mountain of Ben Verid, it is, it is, it is more powerful than, than anything. Um, it is, the monks up there are the caretakers, who, who are the caretakers of the mountain. They have been known to perform miracles of all kinds, um, for people of all walks of life. The only issue is that since you are, um, shall we say, afflicted with demonic blood, it mm. might be difficult to convince them to allow you into their sacred land. Um, you say it's divine magic. Divine from who? The gods. Any in particular? Or just all the, of them? The true gods. Uh, it's not quite known who specifically. Uh, likely Alona or, uh, or Obatai, um, but... Okay, we're going to nix that one. I'm not going to be beholden to anyone anymore. Well, uh, Tether, um, your situation is one of, of servitude. Most of the gods, particularly the gods of wild places, do not require fealty in exchange for, and for the miracles they provide. They do so because they are creatures of good. Um, so, but they provide it? It's unclear. It, it's it, the the monks of Viris are very secretive, and they don't worship one god in particular. It is just an area overflowing with divine energy. I I, I imagine the gods are involved. I I think it, it it's hard to believe that that much divine energy would collect in a place where they weren't. But it isn't it isn't a priesthood. It isn't a it isn't a. A congregation. It, it is simply caretakers of a, of a magical, wonderful font of energy. So I don't think you would be beholden to them, necessarily. 
But if you're feeling trepidatious about it, then I, I won't force the issue on you. That is just probably the safest choice. Um, we'll put a pin on it. Right. The next choice is quite quite a bit more dangerous. Um, quite a bit more rash, but possible. It is... I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Kulkanar's conflag- conflagration or... or as they call it, the cleansing flame. Um, it is it is a flame in the elemental plane of fire said to purify one of imperfection. It's a site of, of great cultural significance to the Afrit, um, and most newly formed Afrit are sent on a pilgrimage there to bathe in the flame and become whole, removing whatever impurities they gained while forming. Um, at the moment, the Empire has an alliance with the Kalari Sovereignty, in the bronze palace in the in the desert to the to the north, um, the sovereignty are no doubt familiar with the location, being a, an afreet government, and with the alliance, we may be able to negotiate um, your your journey there. Um, that being said, the afreet are not always the most agreeable, um, and the pilgrimage will surely be dangerous. But to bathe in the flame might might cure you of your affliction. It also might kill you, um, but the risk is yours to take, um, and it's less likely to kill you than the other two options, so. Mm -hmm. Those being, um, I I have to say again, I am loath to recommend these to you, but I I want to gain your trust, so. The, in order, uh, my recent research into into fungal spores um, and their effects on the biology of humanoid races have made me several connections, some of which are not entirely savory. Um, but I, as I was looking for information on your condition, I heard through these connections that one of the head researchers at the Glyphstadt Academy in Redernick had very recently been fired after it was discovered she was doing unsanctioned chemical induction experiments on living subjects. She was disgraced by her field and stripped of her position and titles, but through these less-than-legal connections, I have learned that she is still conducting research outside the eyes of the law. Um, Her process is wildly experimental and dangerous, and her results are varied and often grotesque. But apparently she was able to change a cow into a griffin and give a man an extra set of arms once she stopped, started operating without any oversight. So she is probably capable of changing you, but I can't guarantee into something you would prefer. We'll call that the lean into it option. What's the other one? Right, I don't love that, um, but the last one the last one is difficult for me to suggest. I know. For a different reason. Um, those that changed you in the first place no doubt know how to change you back. And I would never, ever encourage you to seek out the darkness in your past and the people that tortured you as a child, but... I I have to I have to imagine they would know. They would know at least how they made you into you. And from there you could figure out how to unmake the process. Well that just seems like a two bird one stone. Tether, I this is a very dangerous organization, as I'm sure you are well aware. Theoretically, I, theoretically, I don't need a lecture, I'm sorry. Well, they're not theoretically dangerous. They are objectively dangerous. They're wanted by many nations. I mean, this isn't... This is leagues beyond an assignment. This is leagues beyond anything that you've taken on before, Tether. Including that business with the Fae. You misunderstand me. When I said theoretically, I meant theoretically me considering it as an option of two birds, one stone. I understand. I know they're dangerous, don't worry. I I have to caution you with everything I can to not choose this option, but I can't stop you if you did. 
Do you think if, um... You know, they they raid towns across the country. Is it, do you think if um, a, gov a government were to be told of their whereabouts, they would send a strike force and I could be a part of that? That would be safer, right? They've done it before, unsuccessfully. Our government, the Renarsians, and the, the Coalition have all tried and failed. I don't know if the Emperor would be willing to put you on a strike force. They have more trained and more experienced member of their militaries for that. I mean, I'll, I'm sure Colril could put in a good word for you, but I wouldn't get your hopes up about mm, the Emperor's cooperation in your own personal quest. Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I have no idea what electives I want to do. Can you just sign me up for two? Thank you. And she'll leave. <laughs> Sure. You have to show up, though, Tether. You can't skip them. A thumbs up. Right. Okay. Does anything anybody wants to do before we uh, hop on over to Una's, Una's meeting in town? Okay. Oh, I'm going to say that pretty soon after the fight, I'm going to find Shandi. If that's okay. Like, um, and just say, Hey, Shandi, you got a minute to chat? Uh, Shandi's probably back at the house. Like, yeah, I would go back. To the, I would go wherever like, you are. Like, hun hunched over his notebook, similar to Cynthia, just writing down everything that happened. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, Hey, knock, knock, knock. Um, yes, come in. Hi, uh, thanks. Uh, some Thank fight, you. huh? Oh, yes, it was, it was a. Uh... It was quite the tussle. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I know that I was, you know, kind of, kind of joking about how we didn't really follow the plan and how that was kind of a bad thing, and you know, but it was like a joke. It was like, ha ha ha, we didn't follow the plan. Well, I mean, I'm actually kind of concerned that we didn't follow the plan. Like for real concern. Um. And I don't really know how to express that to the group because y'all just seem to kind of do whatever it is and it all works out. You know? Um, but I feel like I can talk to you about it. Yes. Um, I, I understand your concern, Everett. I, I mean... And I can see how it would be disappointing to put all that effort into constructing a plan and watch it, it all. Was, it's, not, it's not really that... It's not really that, that you know... You know, I came up with it, although it does kind of hurt my pride a little bit. But, but well, the real, the real issue is that, well, I mean, from a perspective of like averages, our plan failed. It was just the luck of, you know, the 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 uh, Karak not hitting me that saved us. Because had he hit me, I'm pretty sure I would have went down, and that rock would have been destroyed the next turn. Or the next, the, the, you know, right after that. So, I mean, basically, the only thing that stopped us was really just inches. He he was he was that close to killing me. Well, knocking me down, I guess he wouldn't have killed me, maybe. Um, but uh, you know, not only did the plan fail, but I almost got it. <laughs> um, so so that's kind of what concerns me. That I think had we carried it out, there wouldn't have been an opportunity for that to happen, or at least we would have been able to mitigate it more than we did. That's the real problem, in my mind. I see your concern, but how with the plan we had, do you see any way in which we could have prevented um, Dagar from swooping through as he did? Well, when, when Septon and Una had to go and take care of uh, Tether, they had to abandon their post, which they were right to do, because Tether was in trouble. At least, maybe, maybe, maybe she wasn't, I don't know, but I wouldn't want to fight Karak alone, um, or the, the whole team alone, and so, so when they had to abandon those spots, they, they weren't able to, to keep an eye on Dagar. They would have, I think Septon probably would have had an eye line on Dagar before he even, um, went invisible, and, and probably would have been able to stop him, or at least be there to help. Um, 
I don't know. I I just think that there's really no way to there's no really no way to know if the plan would have worked, but I think it would have kept me safer than not doing the plan did, if that makes sense. Hmm. Shandy's gonna sort of roll. Sorry, I have the dice noises on, so all of a sudden I'm being pounded in the. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, Shandy's gonna sort of lean over and write something down. He says, "Hmm, noted." Um, that's something to to keep track of in the future for sure. Honestly, sort of a, a gap in the plan we had was leaving you so unprotected. I know, I know, we had sight lines on you, but we had both of our bruisers up front. Perhaps I could have stayed behind, or even Tether, since both of us are... It's noted. I, I see what you're saying. I, I, I guess I guess all I'm saying is, you know, there, but but for fortune, we lost. You and know? I, 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 I think it's not as much of a fault of going against the plan as I, perhaps in the future we have to consider building more flexible plans, if that makes sense. Spreading our weight more, rather than just building towards one one point. No, I, 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 whatever it takes, I, I just, I think that, you know, whatever we choose to do, probably following it would be at least a good start. Yes. And Sean anyway. is to return to his notes. Oh, I'll, I'll see you later. Yes, yes, uh, you've given me a lot to think on. Thank you. Everett goes back to his room. Cool. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Una, Sheena, Sheena sort of finds you yep. and says, "Are uh, you you ready to go?" Yeah. I've arranged uh, a meeting. Um, we are going to be meeting at the uh, the Easterling. It's the the inn that he's staying at. Um, I'm gonna come with you. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know this man, um, and I know you're more than capable of taking care of yourself. But I'd feel a lot better if someone was with you. So that'd be yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, we'll go. We'll go. If there's anything cool. else you need to do before we go, let me know. But nope. All right. Brought, so. brought an uncracked notebook. Nice. Okay. Um yeah, you you and Sheena make your way the the hour journey on up to uh to Kelshar is probably mostly silent. Um Sheena's not much of a chatter. Um but you make your way into Kelshar proper up towards Ashgrove, um towards the rich part of town. Um mm -hmm. and you find yourself in an inn that you've passed by before. Um, called the Easterling. It's very nice. It's not. It's not a large. It's not like a large fancy inn, but it is very nice and probably very expensive to stay in. Um, she inquires at the front desk. She is given a room number. Takes you upstairs to the second floor, um, and knocks on the door. And the door opens, and you see uh, the figure who opens it is a remarkably frail wood elf with long hair, pure white, pulled into a long ponytail. He looks old, which is pretty uncommon for elves. Um, mm -hmm. He walks with a cane, uh, um, sort of a, a black cane with sort of a bone hilt. Um, and he has a green embroidered blindfold over his eyes, which you would recognize is not an uncommon accessory for people who have lost their vision, particularly yeah. among elves. Um um, particularly among wood elves, I guess, because they're they're very concerned with sort of the the grace of the form. Um, but as you as you open the door, he says, um, is, "You are," and she says, "Yeah, yes, I'm Sheena, and I've brought Una Notwise, um, who you were inquiring after." Um, Hi. And you see uh, a gentle smile, and he goes, "Yes, yes, uh, Una. It is, it is good to make your acquaintance. Um, please, please, I've set up a little something on the balcony." Um, and he leads you in. It's a nice room. Uh, barely looks disturbed at all. He seems like a very tidy man. Um, and he takes you out onto this uh, s nice, small little balcony where he set up uh, some tea. Just a little. There's 
two chairs, a little tea set. Um, Sheena sort of leans against the balcony behind you, not sitting herself, um, arms crossed. But as you sit down, he goes to, like, pull out your chair. Um, he's moving around all right for someone without vision. Um, but he's definitely fumbling a little bit. But he pulls out your chair, and once you sit in, and he sort of pushes you in and sits down across from you. Is our tea? Would you, would you like some tea, Una? Uh, yes, please. Very well. Um, and he pours you some tea. Um, everything, everything he does seems very measured and and slow. He is making sure he's taking extra time to make sure the tea doesn't spill, um, to make sure it gets to you um, before he puts the teapot down. And he says, <clears throat> "Well, um, my name, as I'm not sure what they've told you of of me or how many of my correspondences you have received." Um. I should have reviewed this before <laughs> session. Okay. It's been it's been several weeks. He, I found his name like in one of the books I was reading. Over the yeah, over the summer you you learned okay. about this guy, yeah. Um yeah. he was the guy he was the head researcher um over at the Solano workshop who researched the ghost wife ghost wise right. halflings after they were captured originally. Right. Um they haven't told me much. I was doing some research uh, and came across your work. Oh, so you're you're familiar with me? <laughs> Not much. To some ex no, no. I... The answer is no. Right. Well, I um, I, I would be. I would love to to tell you more. Um, I apologize. I, I cannot be more of a, a gracious host, but the years have have done quite a number on me, as I'm sure you can see. Um, well, this, this is, is the best perfectly fine. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. Um, yes, I, um, I was the man who was in charge of researching uh, the Ghostwise Halflings after the Brotherhood chased their leaders uh, deep into the earth. Um, uh, I'm sure you have questions. I have not known... Uh, many, many other ghostwise halflings since since your uh, ancestors were cleared to leave the facility um, long, long ago. Um, but I imagine you have questions, and I would love to answer them if I could. Yeah. Whoa. Where to even begin? Um. Uh, well... Oh, man. Where to begin? Um... Yeah, if you could... I know a little bit about the cult that kind of started it all. Hmm. Um... I know they worshipped something called the Cloud of Devastation. It gave them crazy powers, to my understanding. Some, not all. Some of them. Um, yes, they, uh... At a great cost, however. Um, right. When I met the Ghostwise Halflings, they were... They were feral. They were cannibalistic, hungry, um, ravenous. They were not people, they were creatures, a hazard to be warned of in the, by, by adventurers. Um, I, I believe they weren't even considered halflings. They were called uh, quick maws um, due to their sharp, sharpened teeth and uh, fast speed. But um, something made them this way, this this cloud of devastation, its influence, uh, and the influence of, of the leaders who worshipped it made them this way, because as I, I spent time with them, uh, uh, researching, uh, rehabilitating, uh, very, very quickly, they, uh, over the, the course of maybe a year or a year and a half, they became uh, cognizant, uh, normal, pe peaceful, socialized people. Um, I... It was a, a night and day change. They, uh, 
them. They, they, they were no longer these strange beasts. They were, they were poor, poor souls afflicted by by a dark, a dark curse. Um, uh, the teeth, um, at first, we believed to be part of the. the the biology of these creatures, but but no, they were they were manually filed to be sharp. This was a, a decision uh, made, uh, perhaps by the leaders, perhaps by themselves. Uh, we never did get much of an answer out of them about what their life was like, um, because they didn't remember. It was a a, a dark spot in their memory. Um, I, they they had no no knowledge. Um, they, over the next few years, some of them began to display powers. Um, usually, the ones with hair um, of both black and white. Yeah. What color is your hair, if I may um, ask? Black and white. Ah, yes. Well, you are one of the, uh, the gifted ones, then. Mm. Yes, there were, it wasn't just a, the white-haired halflings also had gifts different from the the split hair. They could they could see things that others couldn't. Um, right. Um, but the I uh, remember reading something. Yes, the black-haired halflings were as normal. Um, the white hair the white-haired ones could 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 see more, and ones with hair like yours uh, had various different psychic abilities the most chose not to use them they uh they found them uncomfortable uh, uh a gnawing headache they would report um is this something you've experienced no hmm. interesting i'm i mean i'm a bit tired after battle but who isn't <laughs> well, I, I'm afraid I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I don't think so. When you use your, your gifts, it, it doesn't hurt? Right, DM? Has it ever hurt? <laughs> no. No, okay. Yeah, no. no? Oh. oh, no. You're not the first I've, okay. I've, I've known. Um, one of... One of those... Those halflings, uh, a child when I met him, but he grew to be a dear friend. Um, he, he was like you, uh, mixed hair, and uh, he reported no, no discomfort using his psychic abilities. Um, he, uh, well, after two years of research, we decided that the Ghostwise posed no harm to the world, and we, we assisted in their, their reintegration, um, Many of them chose to to move on from the place, not return, of course, to the place um, they came from, but to, to find find themselves new lives uh, spread out uh, across the continent and beyond, even. But um, but he he chose to stay and uh, and work with me uh, to to experiment with 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 these powers, um, and we we learned much. Um, we learned much indeed. Um, it has been a, well, it's been a, a century since I've, since he passed. Um, uh, I'm afraid your lifespans do not do not match up to to my people's. But um, he was a dear, dear friend while he was here. What were you able to figure out about his powers? Well, he um, they they were. They were both innate and not innate. We we trained, we 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 experimented, we we molded them. Um, mm. uh, from an outside perspective, it may have seemed akin to uh, to a wizard creating a spell. Um, we could take his power and and modify it to our liking, but uh, as the years went on, I realized that was not the case. It was. Um, his psionic ability was, uh, uh, pardon the metaphor, but was a ball of, of, of clay within him. And as we molded it, uh, so too did 
did the abilities follow as his... As we enhanced one part of his, of his psyche, others, well, they lapsed. And as we moved back the other way, it, it did not spread forever. As a finite gift he was given to shape how he would. How we would. Hmm. And a mighty, mighty gift it was. I do not know how much you have experimented with this, uh, this gift of yours, but uh, the things, the things we could do by the end, well, well, even the research doesn't, the, even the, the facility doesn't know about all of them. Wow. Uh, t tell me, um, uh, uh, perhaps a bit indulgent, but um, can you can you speak into people's minds? In his head, she says, "Yep." A smile um, grows across his face. It's a smile of old comfort. Um, but as it does. No! <laughs> Your head begins to hurt a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. In a familiar way. It's not a headache you've had many times before. It is a headache you've had once before. Right before visions flooded you. Not as strong. Not as piercing as that experience, but it's it's the same sensation. Uh, I've got to be like, oh, we dropping boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I gotta find an old character <laughs> sheet. <laughs> you should find those, but not. Uh. Um, <laughs> he continues, um, and he says, well, "What else can you do?" Um. Are you all right? I'm fine. Um, and what is your arcane background? Oh, I have none. I am a researcher. May I insight check that? Yep. Come on, come on. It's freaky it. as hell. Halfling luck, baby! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm using Psy Bolstered Knack. Hold the <laughs> fuck up. I really want to get into this guy's head. Fuck my fucking... F like a 15? Uh, he seems to be telling the truth. He okay. seems to not, not have any arcane ability. 15's not bad. 15's... 15's yeah. <laughs> um, can you um, move things with your mind? No. Oh, can you manifest things from your mind? No. Uh, like a tiny little image sometimes. Oh, no, that's... Not, mu not often, though. A uh, weaponry of any kind? Yeah. Oh. And, um, uh, he's, he's like, leaning forward now. Um, pretty, uh -huh. pretty heavily. Um, uh -huh. and have you seen things? No. No visions? Nope. Make a deception check. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Okay. <laughs> you have. I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is good news. Yeah. This is great news. <laughs> Our dream is not dead, my friend. This child will deliver us unto her, return no, us to no, her ravenous love. No, no, this no, is no, how we no. find her! And he lunges towards you. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like lunges. I'm attacking. I'm right, attacking. Attack I'm just roll. gonna. It's not even gonna be daggers. It's just gonna be fucking. Ugh. Dragon Ball Z, no! <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. 
And just used all of, uh, 22. 22 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh my gosh. Obviously not sneak attack, but um, 11 points of psychic damage. As you, bla you just psionically blast out towards him and he flies backwards, hits he the ground. He probably likes it. The, uh, the chair topples over and you just, his body crumples onto the ground on the floor on the other side of the table. Sheena steps forward, her sword out, and just runs over to him and points her sword at his throat. Um, but he doesn't move. And she reaches down. She kneels down and reaches down. Wait, don't touch him. I need to check if he's... Right. So I don't want to hurt Sheena. <laughs> Can I like quick um like perception check for any is there any other presence yeah. in the room? Go for it, go for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I roll badly! Um side bolstered neck. <laughs> the music fuck my fuck. Eleven! Eleven, the adrenaline's in your like the heat's in your ears, you're you're looking around but you can't focus. <laughs> like went from a pleasant uh -huh. afternoon to horrifying in an instant, like you're too freaked out. She had yep. Sheena kneels down and very carefully sort of puts her hand on his chest, shakes her head. And then she reaches up towards the blindfold, looks under it and quickly closes it and looks away. And says, I wouldn't look at that if I were you. Can you tell me what it was? Uh, it's probably best if you don't know. And she looks shaken. Sheena, that that's that puts me in a really tough spot. I just I'll show you. Are you, you ready? No, but and she pulls the blindfold up. <laughs> and what it covers is not cataract ridden eyes, nor even empty sockets, but two mouths filled with sharp teeth. Have we seen that before? In a vision. Which one? When you when you were your ancestor. <laughs> the the guard on the bridge, the corrupted angel. Oh my gosh. Sheena Sheena says, um, I I am going to I'm gonna call the guards. <laughs> um and we should get out of here. We should uh go back to campus. She's gonna sort of wait for you to leave the balcony um, and follow you out gingerly. Can I loot the body? Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, she's not, she's not gonna stop you. Great. Um, in his pockets, you find- Rogue's gonna rogue. You, you, you find like 20 gold, um, but you Great. find like, dozens of half-eaten rations. Like, his pockets are filled with rations. Some of them kind of moldy, but, like, every pocket this man has is filled with food. Okay. Despite his in very, very gaunt frame, he was eating a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. We walk away. Yeah, let's... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell the authorities about what happened here. Um, when when he was saying all his stuff before he attacked, uh, it was like, uh, we found the child. Did he, did I, he refer to the being? Return, he said, uh, this child will deliver us unto her. Return unto, us to- Unto her. Re return us to her lav ravenous love. Right, got it. Okay. All right, join Sheena. Sheena, Sheena, go ahead and reports that some uh, some platinum claw go up there, come back down, they exchange a few words, um, and you are free to uh, to go back to campus. Um, and I think the walk back is probably as quiet as the walk up, but there's a very mm -hmm. different vibe. Um, yeah, you uh, you reach campus. What are you doing from there? 
Um, once Sheena's out of the once, uh, does she's, Sheena like walk me to the? She's probably gonna walk you to your dorm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Unless you're trying to go somewhere else, like she's not gonna force no. you. Um, she will say as she's leaving, like, I'm gonna look into this. Um. Yeah. Uh, I gotta process that, to be honest. Um, yep. I'm gonna look into it, and I will let you know what I find about him. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oof, I'm sorry. I wouldn't okay. have wouldn't have even told you that he existed if I'd known that was gonna happen. Yeah. Anyway. Take it easy, I guess. <laughs> and she'll Take it easy. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm just gonna like go to our room and curl up with a nice little book. Yep, read something nice and comforting, <laughs> sure. Tether's making heavy use of the smoking lounge. <laughs> T turns room? <laughs> no, that's the crime room, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you walk past Tether going to your room. Um, but you don't have to interact with her if you don't want to. Unless, unless Tether says something. No, it's doors open, but we make eye line. contact. We have, we both have things on our mind. It's true. It's a big day for both of you, actually. Meanwhile, the boys, what are you guys up to? <laughs> the boys! No trauma girlies! Ooh. <laughs> I'm so mad we lost our door decorations. You What? At least in my map, I can't see the beautiful decorations me and Chelsea made in our in our rooms, and it's really hurting my. They are still vibe. there. They're still They're there. They're very me. much still yeah. there. Oh yeah. I don't know why it's not showing for me. Just refresh. Um, is there anything any of uh, you y'all boys want to do, or do we want to head into the downtime? I mean, other than just picking his electives, Shandi is spending the rest of the day taking notes and prepping for the week. Sweet. Oh. Septon's, Septon's resting up after getting fucking torn <laughs> open by Karak. Yeah, man, fair. <laughs> Everett's gonna rest as well. It's 37 damage in one turn. <laughs> for, first ever combat where Shanti took the least damage? Possible. Um, oh. Well, well, I we, mean, we can count temporary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you, Kinda, damage yeah. was dealt to you. Shanti didn't take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess Everett didn't take a hit either, but. Ever took two hits. You did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dagar stabbed me twice. Oh, I forgot. He totally. Yeah, if idea. if if I had taken the hit that um that Septon took, I would have went down. Um. Cool. All right. If nobody wants to do anything else. Then we will move into the downtime. So, you guys have a choice to make here. Um, and I know we talked about what that would be uh, before, but hey, it might have changed. Um, <laughs> considering. I've got things to think about. Yeah, it might have changed, considering. First thing, though, before I even get into this, I do need to know what electives people are taking. I know it's random for you, Tether, so I can I can make that happen. But um, I mean, not random. Well, Aleph is going to pick ones that she thinks <laughs> yeah. you would like, so I'll do that. But... Um, uh, Septon, what are you taking? I'll tell. I'll, I'll, I'll read them through again if you need. But uh, no, I think I've got them written down. Cool. Septon is gonna take Magitech, okay, and Culture. All right. No, here's how I'm gonna organize this spreadsheet. I think. Sorry, I should have set this up better before. Um, I wasn't sure how to fit the electives on here, but I do think I'm just gonna give a column for each of them. All right, you're taking um, Magitech and Culture. Nice. Yep. Culture, Monster Studies, Spellcraft, Magitech, Handicrafts, and Economics. Okay. And Economics. Okay. Mag 
head to tech and culture, which means these ones are getting grayed out. This one's getting grayed out. It's minimum two. You could take more if you wanted. Uh... You don't have to, but that's minimum two. It was. It, didn't they recommend like not going over? They recommended not taking all of them. <laughs> um, in that case, yeah. If it is minimum two, I think Stepton would also take my survival. Okay. Cool. Go outside. Yeah, likes that. Okay, Una, what electives are you taking? Monster studies and cultures. Cool. Any more? Just those two. That that's it. Sweet. All right, Sean D. What are you taking? Magic tech and handicraft. All right. No one wants to take economics. Um, Everett, <laughs> what are you taking? Just like regular. Everett's gonna talk to Mr. Arganetti. Oh. Master Arganetti. Yeah. Hey, thanks for your help in the fight. Yes, it was invigorating. I lost a, I lost a bit of rock there, but... Uh, what do you I, I wonder, do you, can you get that back? With your spell slots. Oh, excellent. All right, well, look forward to that then. <laughs> um, so I was thinking, you know, I went through this period of time in my life, maybe like a week ago, and... And I was really interested in, like, getting, like, strong and stuff. And then I was helped by my friends to realize that that's... It's okay that that's not who I am. And that I should be, like, really smart. Hmm. Yeah, play to your strengths. I agree. But when I was doing that, I, I had this philosophy. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was it was no days off. No, no days off. Huh. Um... I I, I I believe I had a very similar philosophy. So you think it's good that I take all these electives? Every single one? Yeah, every single one. Uh, you can come with me. We that, can take them together. Is that allowed? Yeah, I think so. Well, I, I'll be honest with you, Everett. I, I, have a, I have a singular goal in my second lease on life. It is to finish that spell. Um, but uh, if that is part of part of the process, then I have no... I don't disagree with your choice. All right, great. No days off. High five. There we go. Yes, of course. And he oh. high fives you. Yeah, it's a little rocky. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. No, it's good. We'll sand it down. Um, cool. Everett's gonna take every elective because of these. <laughs> okay. No days off. All right. Um. I love the fleeting eras of of t of youth. It's like I went through an era. It was like last week. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's so true to you life. You say to this long dead ancient wizard, like, <laughs> um, I think Elitha's only going to sign you up for two, and I have to decide which ones Elitha wants, th thinks would be Roll best for, for you to take. Uh oh. Yeah, well, Elitha wants to be, for, like, yeah. wants to have a good relationship with Tether again, so he's not going to go random. Definitely not Magitech. I think she's going to sign you up for handicrafts, because she knows you're an alchemy person. Not economics, that's for fucking sure. Um, hey, I already needed. I learned all I needed to know in the summer. How to spend it. Fair. Um, You're in a lot of economic slander on this stream. Part of her. Hey, you didn't pick it either. What? I, the study of ec economics is literally just how to spend your money. No, it's not. <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> <laughs> how, it's how everybody spends their money. Um, part of her wants to sign you up for culture because she thinks that would be good for you, but also she thinks you would hate it, so she's not going to do that. Um, she knows me. Yeah, she sure does. Um, probably not spellcraft. She'll sign you up for handicrafts and monster studies, I think. That is literally what I would have picked. Well, I'm glad that I picked it then. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shondi, you set up a club, right? Sword club. Sword club, yeah. You, you, and Karak, Dagar joined sword club as well. Is anybody else here joining sword club? 
Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'll join Sword Club. Nice. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I might have to just use real swords now. It's possible. <laughs> I don't know. It's real scary. Um, you're in Sword Club. Um, Septon, you were starting a club? Like a music club? I don't remember if Septon got his shit enough together. No, Elias, Elias said he would join with you. Oh, okay. Then, I don't know. I mean, if we went to Mrs. Lee, and yeah, like, that's I think Elias gotta, probably took care of it. Got a music club right, going. Music club. Is anybody else joining music club? Okay. All right. See Sorry, well. mate. Sorry, my guy. Tether, you're joining music club? I don't, Are you Tether actually do joining music club? Would Tether do that, or does Michael want to do that? <laughs> Peter, stop looking into my soul. Because Peter would never <laughs> join a music club. Put in my time. I'm done. <laughs> um, are you joining music club or no? Yeah, okay. Okay, those are extracurriculars. Cool. All right. Well, then we are we are ready. If you choose to to do a downtime sesh, um, if not, well, either downtime or you could take the wheel and uh, go do something else. Whatever you want. But you do have to collectively decide to do that if you want to do that. Down time. I'm down for uh, I'm down for downtime. Cool. Down for down. All right. I know you have access to this document, but I'm going to read it for our <laughs> multitude of viewers. Um, <laughs> so they know. Um, okay. It is a little bit different than our last downtime. Now that you actually go to school instead of a death trap run by a mad fake construct, um, the way you spend your time in downtime is going to be a little, a little bit different. Rather than week-to-week -week time skips, passing uneventful, uneventful time at school is going to be handled in larger breaks. And what happens during these breaks is going to be more up to you. Um, this break, uh, at the start of each break, I will let you know how long it's going to be. you got four weeks. Um, you got four weeks of downtime until a major international holiday. And that is where we'll sort of bookend this first portion of downtime. Um, you have some choices on how to spend it. You can focus up, multitask, or take the wheel. You have not chosen to take the wheel, so you are going to uh, either focus up or multitask. Um, each of you gets to pick. If you multitask, you get a number of actions equal to the number of weeks of downtime you have. So you have four actions that you can spend doing extra credit. It's the same thing as last time. Uh, you can work overtime. If you have a job, you can work extra shifts at your job or um, spend a ton of extra time with your club or sport. Um, you can start or work on a task. Um, it's the same thing as projects before, um, but you get a point of progress no matter what. <laughs> no matter what you do, you get a point of progress if you spend a multitask on your task. You can take it easy. Uh, just relax and enjoy your school life. Um, you lose any short-term debuffs, you gain a point of inspiration, and five temp hit points that last until they are used or overwritten by other temp hit points. Um, custom. All of you have custom downtime abilities. You'll gain more. You can use that. Um, or you can accomplish, which means spending your points, um, like from the old system. You can instead focus up, which means you spend the whole break on one thing. Um, you can do extra credit. You study day and night for a particular class. You gain 1d4 plus your proficiency bonus points for that class. And that's the whole break. Uh, you can work overtime. Become a model employee at your job or dedicate yourself fully to your club and sport. Um, if you prioritize work, yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, you get your regular pay and your bonus gets doubled this downtime. Or if you uh, go for your club, you get 1d4 plus proficiency bonus points for your club's point total. Or you can work on a task. You get 1d4 plus proficiency bonus progress, um, no matter what. You can't, you cannot fail. Um, I guess I should say before that, you do, if you have a job, you can either prioritize that job or prioritize your club. Um, and you still get to prioritize one of the classes per downtime. So, um, Cool. Does anybody feel like they want to go first in terms of what they're doing during this downtime? I think I know what I'm doing. Okay, so first of all, what class are you focusing? What class am I focusing? Yep. Um, I am focusing... Of the three, yeah, main, main, the three main class. I guess you, yeah, could, you could focus... Okay, you're focusing academics, cool. So I'm gonna put yeah. a point in academics there for you. 
cool. And are you going to focus up or are you going to multitask? You going all in on one I'm, or are you doing... I'm going focus up. Okay. Work on a task. Work on a task. And this task is your pro project reverse mushroom, I assume. Yeah. Um, Elisa did her thing. I'm going to do my thing. All right. Go ahead. Hopefully two things do things. Uh, I'm actually, because you just got all that information from Elisa, I'm going to take two off the total for this project. Um, oh, cool. You got a D4 plus proficiency bonus number of progress on this. Um, D D four plus proficiency. What are? <laughs> I imagine it's three. Right plus now. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four. Okay, you have completed Project Reverse Mushroom, which I guess makes sense because you know your options. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you spend some time looking into these each of these options, and you realize mm, three of them you could go do. Like, you know where you need to go, and you know how to start it. The fourth one, which is find your cult, you know who you can talk to to get information. And that, you've got two contacts. You could either go request information from the Empire, or you could send a letter to your good pal, Inquisitor Dariba. Because he was recent, he like his ta his job right now is looking into part of his job at least is looking into that cult. So you know that he has more information than most, and he would probably be willing to share that with you. Well, I think she would have she would she would have sent send she would have sent all the options, right? Um, to him. Oh, for his to get input, his opinion. He's pushing for destroy the cult. Because he wants them gone, and it's it's a combined interest. So, cool. All right. Would about... I be a part of? Could I have asked him if I could have been if I could be a part of? Oh, he was assuming that you would be a part of it. Yes. Not okay. he. His thing is, he Carleone is a very different country than the Empire. Um, it is very, very um overly bureaucratic and some might call bloated country so to get like a governmental strike force to attack this cult two or three years on the short end but he's willing to use some of his power to go a little outside of the normal means and assist you with finding this cult so let's get it partner <laughs> okay cool um all right um sounds good did you want to do some jobs over your uh your break because you're not part of a club so i don't know if you wanted to do uh do some work for the shaded uh shaded alley sure cool let me roll up let me roll up your crime uh crime system what i call it <laughs> um i chance that's what it is on the on that thing, but I don't remember where I put like the tables. Um, there it is. That's pr it's probably in here. It is okay. Sounds good. So go ahead and roll for me. Never mind. Yeah, roll for me a d two d four. Five. Give me the two, the sorry, the two numbers. I apologize. Oh, sorry. Um, one and a four. Okay. Uh, you are offered a, a very low risk assassination job. Hell yeah. Do I know the target? Not personally. They don't give you those. No, we, we brokered a deal when I first joined that if they wanted me to do an assassination, I would know the target so I could do a moral choice. Oh, I mean, they tell you who the target oh, is. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. It's cool. not somebody who you're friends with, yeah. Oh, okay. No, 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 it's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's like a, it's a con man who's living in the, uh, in the, the, the cobbles. He's been... It's not me, no problems. He's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's been conning a bunch of people out of their life savings recently, and somebody 
complained to one of the basically the the maid of one of the Ashgrove nobles. Her family got conned by this guy. They lost their house. She was complaining about it, and her master, her her employer, overheard her and hired the uh, the Shaded Alley to get rid of this guy. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Make a stealth or nature check um, to uh, determine. Well, if you're trying to like get in there and stab him, make a stealth check. If you're trying to poison him, make go ahead and make a, a nature or an alchemy check or whatever. Um, for the stealth check, I wouldn't be able to be like I would have cast. Pass without trace. No, we're it's sort of yeah. obfuscated here, yeah. Yeah, I got it. But this that. is very low risk, so you know it's not gonna be hard. Yeah. Stealth or nature, you said. Mm -hmm. uh, as a druid, my nature is awful. So I'll do stealth. I mean you can make it like an al the check you normally make for alchemy. This is you poison. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And that's wisdom plus proficiency. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll do that then. Cool. Go ahead and roll it up. Twelve. Okay, twelve. That is enough. DC's five on a very low risk, so hard to fail. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you, you concoct some poison, you slip it into his food, and he dies a painful death. Um, and you get 110 gold pieces... And 50 gold pieces worth of, of, like, valuable tchotchkes. Like, okay. like heirlooms and stuff. Could I have given the heirlooms to Dima to pawn? Um, um, for so 50 I gold. That yeah. and, for 50 gold? I so, would give her, like, five for the thanks. Okay, then you get 100, 155, 100 and, sorry, 50 gold, sorry. 60. Yeah, 155 gold for your job. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, we'll come back to you in terms of like RP and stuff. I just want to go through everybody else's stats. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Who, who else is? Who else knows what they want to do this downtime? Um, I think Sethin's gonna focus on work. You're focusing up. Oh yeah. Sorry. You, if you want to focus on work or focus on your club first, yes. Yeah. Fo focus on work. Okay. So you're gonna be getting your getting your work there. Nice. Is you're gonna Seth be getting your uh, your. Your salary. Um, Good. What school? Just... Yeah. What school are you? Um... Oh, what class? Yeah. What 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 class are you focusing? Um. Base classes or electives? I apologize. Oh, I pick. I pick base classes. One or one or one or the other. Yes. You have a bunch of electives. You could double focus and do an elective, but which which of your four classes are you focusing right now? More than that. I thought yeah, I took six classes. You're right. You did take six classes. Which of your six classes are you focusing down this time? Um, gonna, I think something's probably into the culture class. Cool. All right. To some extent. Throw a point into culture. All right. So, are you going to focus up or multitask this this term? I am confused. So you nor just like before, you get a you get a point in a class, and you can either do your club or do your work. And then you get your, your actions. If you decide oh. to focus on your club, you don't get your paycheck, basically. But you could... So there's, okay. there's three steps. Choose the class you focus on. Work, yeah. or, work or club. Then you, take, then you take your actions. Focus up or multiple. Okay. Tasks. And what... Okay, I thought I thought focusing on work was one of my actions. It's, sorry, that's the wrong, the wrong term. Uh, you choose your class. You choose work or club as just which one you're doing this way. Okay. And then you can choose to focus more on work for a bunch of extra money, or you could do other things with your... With I'm your gonna business. I'm gonna focus more on work, because Septon okay, has, like, no money. Okay, so, you get your regular pay, and your bonus gets doubled. So, your regular pay and your bonus per week is... Your doubled bonus per week it's going to be all right over the course of the four weeks you spend a ton of time at uh you spend almost all your free time um at work and you end the four weeks with 260 gold pieces cool 
Nice. All right. Who's Something's cracking out the fiddle of the feast at work? <laughs> yeah, people, people <laughs> love it, dude. Uh, Greg loves it too because he doesn't have to hire entertainment as much. Um, cool. Um, who's next? Sean D knows what he wants to do. What is Sean D doing? Politics class. Politics class. Cool. You doing sword. sword club? <laughs> sword club. Okay. <laughs> Making sure that sword club gets a, like a nice good foundation built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to focus up on my project. Focus up on your project. So you get 1d4 plus proficiency bonus progress. Seven. Nice. Okay, you complete um, the practice step as you... Finally. You, you, did, you, you spend a lot of... You spend a lot of time... You're taking handicrafts, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. You spend a lot of time in your free time and also in handicrafts just getting... And also at your, your little... Your little uh, internship with uh, Steel Arm, Steel Fist Evelyn. Um, mm -hmm. She's showing you how to make swords. You're not making the sword you want to make yet, but you spend a ton of time just like learning the fundamentals. You spend a month learning the fundamentals of like how you make swords. And at the end, in your last week here, you get a little bit of time, and you're like, okay, well, I, I got a good foundation under my feet. I uh, I want to start experimenting. I want to start throwing on some of the weird stuff I was talking about. So you get one week of progress towards your creation. You have cool. you have created at least the blueprint for what your sword will be. Every night when Shandy comes home from his internship, he's just carrying a bag, and you just hear a bunch of clanging as he comes up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> All right, uh, Everett. Oh, wait, uh, Una. Una hasn't gone yet either, right? Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Everett can go first. Uh, Everett's going to focus on... Yeah, what class? Uh, spellcraft. Okay, put a point in spellcraft. And then he is going to... I think... You don't have a job, so <laughs> I'll put a point in sword club, unless you're trying to spend that time somewhere else. Uh, no, I think I think that's probably. I, I I mean, what I'm gonna do is start a project if that's okay. Yeah, that's that's your that's your your. Um, okay, so you're gonna go ahead and. So this is gonna be a multitask um, because you can't start a project by focusing up. So what project are you starting with your first action here? I would like to start a project to create Argonetti's, uh tag teleportation tag spell. Cool. All right, that is going to be a, a difficult one because you're starting from, from nothing. Um, so I'm going to put the clock at... I'm going to split it up. Uh, first is recovering his old research, and that's going to be a five-part project. Um, the next part is you getting more comfortable with spellcraft. That is going to be roll here is that not what's happening no you will if you if, okay. you if you accomplish in spellcraft you're gonna you're gonna be able to boost this project along um, okay every point if you take the accomplish action every point you have in spellcraft you can just transition into uh a d4 roll for progress here if you take the accomplish action uh, but i'm gonna make that an eight an 8.1 because that's hard and then actually making the spell i'll make that a just a winner that's gonna that's gonna take one week of progress cool so that's uh one out of your four things what other what other things would you like to do oh uh can i do that three more times <laughs> um yeah, you can do it you can do it you can do it one more time i'll do that one more time okay so you're gonna get one point of progress cool and then what extra things do I get to do? You could do extra credit. You could, you can't work, you could work overtime and uh, put a lot of time in a sword club. Um, you could take it easy um, or you could accomplish. You could, you could spend your sword club or spellcraft or class. Points. I'll accomplish in spellcraft. Okay, roll a d4. Boy, come on, Aver. Oh, it's cocked. Hold on. How do you cock a D4? It was like landing on something. Two! It was a four and it got cocked! Right. Oh, fuck cool. me. You're three out of five. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to put that in the other the other thing there. Um, you're two out of eight on spellcraft work. You got one more action. 
Um, I can't accomplish spellcraft again, so I'm going to. Can I just put a point into a different class, or? Yeah, that's uh, extra credit. Great, I will get extra credit in Magitech. All right, learning a little bit about Magitech. Cool. All right, let me finish writing out your project here. Organize research recovery. Phase two, learn spellcraft. Phase three, learn spell. Okay. Um, put one into spellcraft. Sweet, that is yours. Una, what would you like to do? Uh, First of all, which class are you focusing? Academics. Classic. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you, you doing work or are you doing sword club? Um, I think work. Probably, yeah, work. It's probably the right choice. Take my mind off things. Um, and are you going to focus up or are you going to multitask? Um, what were the focus up options? Focus up, you can do extra credit for your class. Um, yep, you can that's work. what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, go, you're going to gain 1d4 plus proficiency bonus points for whichever class you'd like. Great. Academics. Seven. <laughs> seven. All right. Um, you gain seven points in academics. So you were up to. Oh, she's smart. You were up to ten academics points. Um, mm. you had sixty gold for uh, four weeks of work. Cool. And that is your time skip. Wow, that took fifteen minutes. Four weeks. Can uh... we we spend we spend four months on the first week of class, and now we're a month into class after fifteen minutes. Uh, but I would love to go back and first things first. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what goes on in the world while these four weeks fly by. Um, Wait, really, really quick. Yes. Just uh, an awful fact about the passage of time. Uh -huh. uh, while we were doing that, I just wanted to check, double check the. Uh, the sword we discussed, yeah. so I went back in our chat to find it. Uh, it was last May. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh boy, that's that feels good. Oh, it's a long ugh. time coming. Terrible. Okay. Make it all the sweeter. Yeah, it's a neat sword. You're gonna have to remind me what it is, though. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, it's I'll, I'll literally been a year or so. Yeah. Okay. Um, during this downtime, you all notice some changes in Kelshar beyond the weather. I mean, it is still, uh, well, I guess you're sort of moving out of summer a little bit, no? Um, because this downtime starts on Monday the 29th of, of cast. I'm going to end on the 24th of Celestius, or I guess the 23rd of Celestius. So you're like, you go from summer into fall during this time skip, um, as... As, um, you know, the season is changing a little bit. The the stars are going away more and more. Um, it's not cold by any means. You're still early fall, so it's it's still nice and nice and warm out. But it's like, you know, light overcoat weather um, sort of deal. Um, but that is not the only change you notice. Um, when you first got here, uh, Una, Una and uh, Shandi, you noticed there were a lot more Platinum Claw around, and they were acting in the place of the guard, of the town, the sort of the private town Kelshar guard. Um, they, over the course of these four weeks, almost entirely dissipate. Um, not disappearing entirely, but in large groups and large battalions heading south on the Sapphire Road. Um, down... Yeah towards where um, Wilter's Watch used to be, down towards Nildor. Um, filling in that gap, though, is an influx of hardy men and women wearing the purple-tinted armor and split diamond insignia of the Bergen Coalition. Um, most of them seem to, like, come in from the west. They're not coming in through the, the way station. They're actually, like, physically coming into town from the west. And then they, uh, they disappear into Fort Elmont, um, where the guard barracks is. So there's like hardly any platinum claw around anymore, despite them like massing 
for for most of the summer. They have now gone to their next destination, which seems to be south. Um, and a bunch of foreign guards are showing up. Guards from the Bergen Coalition, a country about as far away from Zymor as you can get on the continent. Um, Tether, you, uh, in working with the Shaded Alley, notice some things. Um, with the new base of upper operations up and running and the new safe house that's established, things through the summer and into the fall have been running pretty smoothly. I mean, you're... You haven't been... You've only been part of the organization for, like, coming up on a year at this point. Um, but... This is like I'm the, not expecting them to throw me a party, but I'm <laughs> hoping for it. Um, I don't remember the exact day you joined. I'll be honest, um, but it's it, you're you're closing in on a year. You're maybe yeah. a month, two months away from a year since you joined, um, and this is like the smoothest it's ever sailed. Um, but as the end of as like the end of this time skip approaches as you get to the end towards the uh, the end of the four weeks there two strange things do happen they're not like mind mind shatteringly strange or anything but they're like you notice them you're like hmm uh, the first is that the safe house up in funnelwind forest was attacked um you you don't know much about the safe house. You've never seen it. You've never been to Funnel Wind Forest. But you do know that a guy that you've interacted with a few times was hiding in there. He, You didn't know his name, but you were told uh, once it was attacked. His name is Felch. You would know him as the Fermented Man. He was one of the people involved in the attack on Johnson. And he's also mm -hmm. the guy that got crab hands from Mel um, when Pell and Mel attacked the Shaded Alley. Um, apparently he had he had been sent up to just like <laughs> deal with his new reality up in the funnel one for a safe house and he'd been there ever since but the safe house was attacked and destroyed um apparently felch survived and escaped into targon's blade the mountain range um nearby but safe house is gone um yeah some, RIP. some people some people said i mean the the organization sent out some feelers and the wood folk near the safe house um spoke of a lone figure heading towards the cabin the night the attack went down um the other strange thing is corin resigning uh corin the curse breaker is the curse, yeah yeah she she'd been acting pretty strangely recently in these uh, she's always been a little odd but she'd been getting sort of odder and odder as this time goes by um and she's becoming even more reclusive like scaringly reclusive she's been acting very paranoid and jumpy when inside the base and the only time she leaves is for jobs um she recently you 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 technically don't know this, but one day when you were coming into the safe house as Isla, you heard Dima and the boss discussing it. But she recently asked the boss if she could quit, despite not knowing. Like even you know, you you can't quit the Shaded Alley. Like you're you're in the Shaded Alley. You don't get out. Um, it's organized crime. Um, yeah. So you overhear conversation that. Uh, that she asked to quit. Obviously, she was denied the request to quit, but she has stopped taking jobs. She just, like, hides in her room in the base now. Okay. Yep. Um, and the last thing, and we'll, we'll, we'll circle back to this, but you do get a job offer at the end of these four weeks that we'll talk about. But if there's anything anybody wants to get up to outside of the time skip stuff, just RPs, interactions, conversations they want to have um, during these four weeks, let me know. So I'm just guessing here, since it's four weeks, I'm guessing all all of us get four different RPs. If you want. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm I just, just kidding. I took, I took away the forced RP aspect of the time skip because it felt weird. But yeah. if there's if there's little vignettes that you want to do, then like let's do them. I have a question. Yeah, I love a balsamic. Is the is the? It, I know, I know, I focused work and then like double focused work. Yeah. Does this mean I have not been attending music no. club? You go to music club. You're just not putting okay. a lot of time into music club. Okay. Who showed up? I'm curious. Eli I mean, just Elias, me and Elias. Elias and Renia is there. She doesn't participate, oh, okay. but she seems to find it soothing. All right. I was just curious about that. Every now and again, Ellie from Felfrit shows up. To just watch 
What does she play? She doesn't. Oh, she doesn't play anything. Just... She's she's friends with Elias. So sometimes. Does she... Runia play anything? Yeah, Runia. Uh, Runia plays like most instruments. Um, but she's she's very. She's not confident in her ability, and she doesn't often attempt to. But like every instrument that you've thrown at her, she's been able to play. I was just curious how music club's going. Yeah, no, it's good. It's a, it's a chill little hangout. Like you guys don't really have any goals or anything, but Elias really likes to sing, um, and you've got your your stuff. And sometimes you'll make up a song, or sometimes you'll just hang out. Like you get to know Elias quite a bit better, um, and he's you know he's a he's a sweet kid, which you already knew. Um, he's chill. Always literally. Like um, you do know, every every now and again you get a different Elias though. Um, Interesting. Most of the time, he's he's like a nice, you know, he's the Elias that you know. But some days, he's he's a lot more reserved and austere. Um, he's coming across cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I don't want to say other than got him. Oh, You've been got. Okay. Like at the beginning of the stream, I didn't know. Like I'm sorry. At the beginning of the stream, I didn't know we had this. I was hoping it would stay that way, but here we are. Wow. Uh, Tommy, Tommy. Tommy is like Prometheus. He gives us um, information to further hu humanity. And I, and what, am I the god that that chained him to a rock to peck out his liver? <laughs> Wait, I didn't, I didn't inform any of you about this. You no. did the first noise. No, that was not no. me. That was, that was I, I found it out myself. I messaged Winfield. I was like, hey, do you see these sounds? Oh, you did the first emote. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. No. I guess he. It's not that he comes across cold. He comes across like almost a different person every now and again. Huh. Ruh -roh. Not in like well, a that's... not in like a creepy way. It's just like it is a very different personality sh uh, personality that you deal with some days. That personality is a lot less willing to hang out and a lot more focused on like accomplishing things hmm you can make it i mean you can make an insight check actually if you don't mind. yeah we'll make a little insight check something's bad at that i make the mistake of popping out my character sheet so it's in a different window so it's great i have like discord the character sheet my notes all right in front of me but then when i hit roll it rolls and i'm like shit Where's that other window? That's why you gotta use um, freaking dice, dude. I got a Windows six. your eyes. Okay, yeah, you don't know. It's weird. He's acting strange. It's weird that he does that. It's not very often. It's like once every two once every two weeks, maybe. So once in the time that we've twice. Oh, okay. No, it was only four weeks. Yeah, four weeks. Once every two weeks. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's how Music Club is going. Anybody else have any vignettes or, or things they're trying to... Interactions they're trying to have, things they're trying to, like, casually get up to, not project level get up to, but... At some point, I'm gonna try to talk into somebody's head and be real nervous. Like, maybe, like, a week after. You just that, don't like, use I haven't I haven't talked into anybody's head. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, like... Maybe let's make a tether. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just, like... Stand in your door. <laughs> Hi. Take a deep breath. Tears are welling in my eyes. Oh. And in your head, I just say tether. Yeah. You feel normal. Yeah. No. No headache. No nothing. You feel. You feel fine. I'm gonna go for a longer sentence. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? Oh, um... Still normie? Yeah, I'm... no problem. Right. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> Have you talked to your friends at all about what happened? Or are you, are you keeping this one to yourself? Um, I'm... Um, for now, I'm keeping it to myself. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Una's, yeah. Like, maybe you would have noticed, but Una's just even quieter than normal, I suppose. 
but she's also just like really into studying, yeah. so that's not very odd. Um, okay. Kazumi's gonna try to be very nonchalant and coy. Um, I can't see not... the top half of your face right now, Michael, just so you know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It, I just have bad posture, but then when I wanted to have good posture... I apologize. It well, it just, like, tilt your camera up and you can still have good posture. No, it's okay. We'll all do it. Yeah, show Michael, the... you want me to run my chair over to you? I love that chair. Okay, I'm gonna skip... I'm gonna post... No. You got it. I believe in you. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not worth it anymore. He has a good chair. That's it. Anyway. I love that I can hear you through my headphones through the wall <laughs> when, you, when you freak out. <laughs> Yeah. All right, what are you? Um, uh, what are you being very coy about? She's gonna be nonchalant. Um, Una knows too much, so she's not gonna go to Una for this. Okay. And also, Una's gonna worry, and also Una is gonna know. So she's gonna knock, knock, knock onto Septon's door. Okay. What's up? Hey, Frando. What's wrong, Tether? <laughs> oh, nothing's wrong with me. Um, but like, say I had a friend. Um, because I have friends, and what if one of them? Because I have multiple friends. It doesn't matter. Um, what if one of them wanted to change their look? Um. But, like, they had multiple options of changing their look. And they didn't know which one was the right one. What would you say, say to them? Well, interesting to pick me to talk about this. Um, my emotions affect my look. Right? Yeah. That's a thing for people like me. We... You know, how you feel affects how you look. Um, so you're saying, you know, a friend of yours. I'm going to insight check this conversation real <laughs> okay. quick to see if I see if Septon can tell if we're she talking act about t a friend or if we're talking about Tether. She's acting real cool. Like she has, she's like arms crossed, leaning against the door frame. But since her head is what her right. head is, she, her head is like down like this. Right. But Tether showing up to my room and acting real cool is already weird. <laughs> no, I know. That's why I'm saying I'm rolling deception at disadvantage. Deception's insight's not great. Eleven. <laughs> Honestly, I'm choose. Is you there a way I can to choose fail. to fail? Yeah. If fail. you're being like, very obvious, is, like, yeah. There's okay. no way. I'm gonna go no, ahead. And I'm, choose... gonna, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say just the way he's RP'd it. I would have given it a DC of ten, so you're fine. Deceptive can tell. Yeah, it's clearly about Tether. Okay, well, Tether, if somebody wants to change their look, where I come from, pretty normal. Um, you want to know how to make a decision of what the new look should be. Yeah, and they had, like what like you had like different avenues. I mean, um, okay, wait, 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 wait. So your 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 friend, yeah, wants to change their look. Is that it? There's just quick like fashion change, like sure, yeah, yeah, fashion. Okay. Um... Would you like? Say, ooh, find a pyre and burn the old clothes <laughs> and hope you find new one? Well, or do you... <laughs> She's going to really try to think hard. <laughs> do the makers of the old clothes and get their patents. Heather, what the fuck are we talking about? Oh, okay. So say someone has I'm a friend. Not smart enough for this. What do you mean? You're so smart. 
<laughs> okay, okay. You got a friend, right? I get I I definitely get that part. Um yeah. and they are thinking of changing their look, but yeah. they're not sure how to go about it. Yeah. I and, would like, say it... it'd be best to go about it in a non-permanent way until they're sure they really know what they want their new look to be. And then, you know, go for it. Oh, okay. So say they have been doing it in a non-permanent way for a bit, and they're really set on it. Um, then I mean, hey, if that's you, that's you. You gotta go for it. I mean, look at me, right? My color changes with how I'm feeling, but I'm red most of the time, because most of the time I'm feeling red. It's a signature look. Yeah, but there are times when I'm feeling blue. Canonically, feeling blue is a Feywild expression. That's where that we get that expression. It's fr it's an Eldrin expression, feeling blue. Um, I'll write that in my um, idiot. That's book. canon, Blake. I'm putting that in your world now. I like it, actually. <laughs> um, I'm into it. Uh, some days we're feeling green, yellow, whatever. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, it, okay, so your friends, your friend has tried out some new styles and has found one they're like, this is the one. This yeah. is the new style, right? But they have a couple avenues to try to get to that style. This is where you start to lose me. Yeah, okay, so they have, like, different avenues of, like, to get to that style permanently, okay. but they don't know which avenue would get to that style. Um, okay, 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 so there's, so, so they, they, they have a new style they want, but they don't actually, and they've got a few options that might get them there. Tether, I can't help you unless you Smoke tell me what coming out of both their ears. <laughs> these two, neither of these two are good at this kind of conversation, and you're just like... So, like, say, like, you could change your style by... Gods? Okay. God. Fire. Fire. Or... Stewing. S stewing like a lawyer or a cease and desist a cease and desist <laughs> to the people who gave you the original style that you don't want what the hell are we talking about <laughs> okay it's i'm gonna start in the very beginning <laughs> closed door knock 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 <laughs> hello tether <laughs> Hey, I got a friend looking for a new look. Uh-huh. <laughs> and say there's different ways to get that look. You right. Know, there's many options. Right, you could go to a store to get the look. You could make your own clothes to get a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But say you those could options. steal clothes to get a new look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, so what if you could steal the, a look from the people who made the old look? You could burn the old look to get the new look. Or you can, I guess, prey on it. <laughs> Don't forget option number four. Invasive oh, surgery. <laughs> oh, yeah, or... Surgery. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Septon is like, has like a terrified look on his face. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he grabs Tether by the shoulders and is like, Tether, what's wrong? <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, close the door behind so it's just the two of us in your room. Okay. okay, what if I could not be a mushroom if I could burn my body alive and burn away the corruption, kill my my torturers, or prey on it, or get invasive surgery? Okay, this is a lot now. Um, Do you want to talk about fashion again? No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. 
you don't want to be a mushroom anymore. No. You're, you're positive of that. You said you've been, like, trying that? You know, wild shapes. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Um, so you want to undo the mushroom thing that happened to you years ago? Yeah. Okay. And your options are the gods. Yeah. Okay. Fire? Yeah. Um. Gods, fire, invasive surgery. Yeah. And hunt down the people who did this to you. And murder and torture them. <laughs> um. These you all. About, like, you change with moods. My moods change what I want to do because sometimes I get real mad. And I want to murder and torture them. Mm -hmm. A lot. Fair enough. Um, these all sound really dangerous. Where did you get all this info? Um, you know, uh, Elitha. Okay, did she give you any advice? Um, no, she just gave me four options and said, pick one. Really? That's what happened? Is that really what happened, Tether? Okay, she said some of them are very dangerous, and I shouldn't do them. But don't worry, that's why I'm not going to make you guys do them. <laughs> and don't worry, I have a foreign government on my side for the murder. Wait, what? <laughs> what does that mean? What murder? Did you already murder someone? No, no, the murdering plan. Okay, okay. Your plan is to go kill a bunch of cultists. Honestly, that is that is hero shit. That's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. I was about to say dab on him, but no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, dude. <laughs> Stab on him. No! <laughs> um, Thank you. Yes, and. Um, yeah. Um, okay, okay. That's honestly. That one I kind of fits our whole repertoire. How dangerous did Elitha say that was? I mean, she just said the word dangerous a lot. I don't think you can quantify danger. You absolutely can. Jumping out the window of Shandi's room into the lake is dangerous. Not if you Fighting a cult is a different type of dangerous. Regardless. Uh, okay, okay. So, fighting a cult, honestly, if you're willing to wait a while, you know, we really... I mean, I'm sure you felt it, but we've gotten a lot stronger since we came here we could someday reach a day where the bright futures go after a cult no no Septon it's you don't have to worry you guys don't have to do it that's ridiculous we're friends yeah if I your know. goal is to demushroomify yourself your friends are gonna help you Okay, you could, that is a possibility, yeah. We want to help you. You are the, how are you more stubborn than Una sometimes? <laughs> because I can turn into um, an ass, a don like a donkey, get it, because they're stubborn. Yeah, all right, all right, I won't do it that time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's a good one, Teddy, that's a good one. Um. Yeah, and then um, apparently there's some big, big fire in the fire dimension that I can just, like, I guess, jump into. Would it just work? Is it just, you jump into a fire, mushroom gone, you walk out fine on the other side? No, no catches, no caveats? I mean, if you have four options that all are guaranteed to work, take the least risky. If you have all the options that are, like... Some of them might work. Probably take the one that's, like, most likely to work. But they all sound kind of messy. What's the god's idea? 
I don't know, just like go to this place and like it's apparently very holy and just like I guess ask around. Oh, it's barely a lead. Um Yeah, and I don't want It's one step above go find your own lead. But yeah, between you and me, I already have a god that's wanting me to to corrupt the entire world and make them everyone dead. I think Elitha disagreed that it was a god, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, fair enough. Um, so like, I, that's the one I'm like, no, thank you. Okay, no gods off the table. Great, that leaves yeah. big fire, find and kill cult, and which one? Uh, invasive surgery. Talk to me more about this invasive surgery. Apparently, they turned what was it? A cow into a griffin. They they, apparently, they turned a cow into a griffin. Apparently, of uh, some people don't like what they're doing, so they're like. Turn a cow into a griffin? Yeah. The problem is, even if they're doing surgery, I wonder. So if... I imagine they would like do an incision all the way around and peel back the skin and then remove the fungal portions. Right, but isn't your thing also like a, a, a like magical curse of arcane of some sort? I actually don't know. I don't know how any of that works. Yeah. So. I mean, that's a shot. Is the surgery, like, on the up and up? Is it, like, a, a is it a doctor we trust? I think they you lost said it was controversial. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tether, here's the last question. How fast are you trying to pull this off? Um... We're having a good conversation. I don't want to. I don't want to dampen the mood. This is. We're having fun. Um, I uh, hate everything about this. So um, as soon as possible would be my thing. Oh God! I have to give you advice on this, don't I? Um, that's oh, no, what you're you don't have to. I don't want to be a, tr a trouble. I don't know. I mean, if it can wait, if this is just like a long-term goal, then I feel like probably, I don't know, probably go after the cult at some point, but not for I already years, have um, agents high in the government of Carleone looking for them. Do you have, like, more hours in the day than I do? How do you get into this shit? What? It's just my pen pal. Okay. I, okay. Pen pal in the carrier. Yeah, I have a pen pal, too. Fair oh. enough. Um, Two. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. I mean... I guess at some point we could try to go after a cult, but I really don't feel like that's a right now sort of situation. Um, meanwhile, surgery seems... Okay, I, you know what I'll do? I won't recommend any of them, but I'll rank them right now, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Sefton. I, I was be being very indecisive, so I thought I would, like, put the pressure on you to, to make the decision. <laughs> I'm not making the decision for you. Okay. Okay. Go after the cult. Sounds like it's the most likely to work, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we should do it anytime soon. Um, The surgery sounds pretty dangerous and sketchy, but probably less likely to straight up get everyone killed. So... Yeah, just me. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess depending on what they're, how good at it they are. I don't know. Um, after that, we got uh. Go to fire dimension. Yeah, I don't um, like go to fire dimension and jump in a fire. That doesn't sound smart. I feel like that could just kill you. Well, the people set um uh, do controlled forest fires to get rid of um, um to help um good growth. Sure, sure, sure. 
What if and... I burned the forest that is my body to get new growth? Gross. Um, and then last but not least, go visit the godly people. And say, I'm hey. Not, nah, I'm not a big fan of that one. That honestly reminds me of the freaking ghost hunters we ran into. You guys were useless. Um, yeah. Which guys? They might just try to, like, oh, right. kill you instead of be helpful or anything. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I do have, um, um, I do have heavy demon energy. You do. You give off... For people who don't know you, uh, I can see why, and especially the more holier-than-thou people might be like, Oh, that's a demon. Yeah. Well, with the direct connection to a demon. No offense. I mean, you can't take offense if it's true. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful, Tether, but, I mean, thanks for sharing. i going to be honest, I didn't know the mushroom look was like you hated it. Yeah. Mirrors, no thank you. I mean, there's illusion magic. Have you thought about finding a way, like, to, to, like, I don't know, at least hide it for a little bit? You've been so helpful, and thank you so much. And if you have, like, if you, like, have inspiration in the night, like, oh, she, she should do that one, just let me know. And just so you know, like, maybe, like, I'm just saying it's, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm thinking pretty rationally right now, but there's a chance I just might, like, and, um, but don't, yeah, I don't want you to worry. What does that mean? What does that mean, Tether? <laughs> you know, there's, like, what? a... No, what is that? You're gonna leave? Yeah, it'd just be like a quick high buy. What, what do you mean you'd leave? Like forever? Or you're gonna go after one of these? No, no if it's like, what if it's like, if it's like one day it's just like, oh, this is unbearable. I'm just gonna fly to the uh, uh, fireplace real quick and dive in and then. No, because you could just die. Don't do that. Don't Don't go off on one of these if you think it's just gonna kill you well right where i come from people change their looks a lot but it's really easy to just change back so we don't think about it it just happens this is what if big... i believe hard enough that it won't kill me and that's why it will work i don't know if that's how this works for you i don't know if it's not how it works honestly um i've never heard of a fire that <laughs> um but if that happens could you just like keep everyone calm and just be like it's chill it it won't be chill it wouldn't it wouldn't be chill we would come after you i okay, would so like what if a friend needed to go somewhere and they said they were going to do something completely innocuous that people are like oh yeah they do that and to give them a head start do you, you think are, that would work? You are number one suspicious in the friend group now. Me, like, number one suspicious? Tell that to the guy I killed. What guy you killed? What? Oh, I did an assassination. It's okay, he was bad. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's another one of your fucking side adventures. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so good to just lay it out, you know? Yeah, got anything else you'd like to reveal to me? No. <laughs> I'm gonna assume make, that's a lie. Make a deception check. And you can roll inside something. Oh boy, oh boy. Eleven again. Hey, consistent. <laughs> well, that's okay. I have a negative one into deception. What'd you roll? I haven't rolled yet. I'm sorry. How dare you? I'm trying my best here. Eighteen. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, well, if you have nothing else to reveal, um, I can only beg you not to do anything crazy and to not do anything that could get yourself hurt. I can't it's stop me. you. 
Yes, Tether, it's you. That's why I think you're going to do something crazy and get yourself hurt. Bye. Yes, yeah, Heather. All right. Close oh, door. that could oh, go. Open door real quick. Wait. So then, like, was that first part like totally awful? Like, did you not get anything? What? The my nonchalant thing. I knew. Okay, I knew we were talking about you, not your friend. Um. Like friend. I I no. I, that part I got. But then once you tried to explain, like, oh, and I got the like, I want to change my look. That would have made sense but as soon as you were like the avenues i thought i had no idea what you're talking about i completely lost it okay i, I, I thought you were that. asking me like how i did it myself or something oh well i could ask that you do have good style okay i'm gonna go good night tether bye bye, bye. oh when septon is alone he will audibly say oh that couldn't have gone worse <laughs> All right. Um, so I mentioned earlier that a job was going to be coming through. Um, and there, uh, yeah, near the end, like this final week, the beginning of the final week, you get a request from the offices of the Emperor requesting the second year of Bright Futures to serve as a guard force for an upcoming international summit um, in the Norak Reaches. The faculty makes it clear that you are free to not do this. It's your call. You're not going to be forced to do this. You have been specifically requested by the Chancellor of the, uh, of the Empire, who you know is the Jade Prince. Um, you and the only other person from the organization invited, Colrel, um, would be set to travel to the summit, uh, being held in a state in the north of the Shaded Plains, near Nilbervine Forest, right next to the banks of the Iskulfjord, um, on the holiday. So you'd travel on the holiday, and the summit would be right after that. Um, you can accept or decline this quest as you will. What are we thinking? It's not one of those, like, take the wheel things. It's like either you, uh, you do this or you decide to not do this and either is uh, either is fine you won't be forced you won't be forced to do this by anyone um it's totally your guys's call for what five weeks into the semester at this point yeah you're about a month into the semester yeah i, I think shandy is ready to do a little bit of questing I, i'll tell you if you don't take this quest you will have another couple weeks of downtime in which you could take a different quest if you wanted let me just double check. Yeah, because you have. Um... Sorry, I need to peek at this. You have, you have a field trip on the 18th of the next month. Right now, it is the 23rd of Celestius. On the 18th of Vigelis, you have your field trip to Garrick Bastion. So you'd have to be back by then if you decided to go take a take a quest. Um, a different quest, but you would have the the weeks between now and then to do whatever you wanted again. Um, I mean, would the would the emperor really respect that we have a field trip? Well, the summit will be long over by then. Okay. The summit, you're hmm. you're you're he you're headed up on tomorrow. You'd be headed up tomorrow. You'd prep through the weekend. The summit is next Tuesday, and then you'd come back after that. Does the emperor? Does the emperor write like, or does the chancellor write like, why us? Um, not that you know of, um, but you know that the chancellor came and visited your school not too long ago. In fact, you spoke to him. Um, yeah, I remember this. So he's clearly interested in you all. Um, notably, Colrel was the, the chaperone that was invited to come with you. And you know that the Jade Prince and Colrel have a history. Um, and share a face. No. Um, I'd, yeah. I'd rather... I say to the group, I'd rather not do anything requested by the Jade Prince. Do we also, know? I feel like it would put Coral in an uncomfortable situation. Coral, uh, Coral's probably the one who told you about this, and Coral's take is, well, I have not seen him in a long time, and now that he works in, well, this not only the same country, but the same business that I work in, um, a meeting is inevitable. So I 
I'm probably going whether or not you do. Um, oh. Because I need to I need to get this reunion over with, frankly. But so don't don't worry about me. I'm going. <laughs> uh who knows? <laughs> it might be fun. Um but don't come on my behalf and don't not come on my behalf. It's it's entirely up to you. I'll say we don't have Obviously, I know we kind of don't trust the guy. Mostly, no offense, secondhand through Coral. Well, well he is a fiend. Um, right. So is Coral? Yes, I am. I, I am an incubus. <laughs> he is also a fiend. Um, right. Did say we'd be paid? Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes, you'd, you'd be paid. A lot. It's the, uh, mm. it's the Emperor. Look, I mean, we get paid. Maybe it's not... If this guy is not on the up and up, if he's dangerous, you don't jump right onto his bad side right off the bat. Don't turn him down. We I'll... take a pretty basic job for him. And it's a, a, ch a chance to learn a bit more about him as well. Right, get close, but not that close. I'll, I'll be frank with you. It has been um, several centuries since I've interacted with Quincy. Um, so I don't... Many things have changed in my life since we knew each other. I cannot really tell you what to expect from him. I think we should do it. I also am in support of doing it. I think it's good money. And I think that he was nice enough when I talked to him, just a little bit, you know, scary, but, like, not in, like, a bad way. Yeah, I mean, I don't 100% trust him, but I don't like, think Ted taking Like, scorpions him... are scary, but they've never hurt me. I don't think taking one job is really gonna be that dangerous. Whatever Una says, I agree with. Oh, no. <laughs> When he gets two votes, eh? Like the fat one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two, um, two pro? Uh, Shandy said he was down as well. Three. Three, three want to go. And I, I suppose the vote lands on you, Una, for some reason. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not for it, but I will support the majority. Right. Well, then uh, pack your bags. We head out tomorrow. Should be interesting, to say the least. It's it's quite a nice estate, I am told. Um, Riverwatch Estate. Private home of one Lord Basil Hornbury. Um, maybe a bit gaudy for some tastes, but the gardens are divine. <clears throat> right. We'll get some rest. We uh, We head out in the morning. And they leave. Thanks. They leave you to it. And that is where we will end tonight's session as well. As we get ready for the ceiling summit. <clears throat> um, cool. Well, Hell yeah. The great session, guys. Um, we're we're finally we're finally into the semester. Look at that. Um, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for playing. Always, always a freaking pleasure. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you're not currently playing a TTRPG, you should, because you can have an <laughs> an overly metaphorical conversation about what a friend needs, and you can't do that in any other game. <laughs> you simply can't. Mm. All right, everyone, have a good night. We will catch you next Sunday, hopefully. Okay, bye. 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 bye.